All right. We are here with the master himself, Patrick Price. This is episode two, three or four. Not sure when this is going to come out because we're doing a whole bunch here at the team summertime charity event. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, but we're in one of the side rooms. We have commandeered this place. They have no idea that we're doing this. Um, are we allowed to? Room two. Room two. We don't. Yeah, we're in room Come two. Find us. Come find us. We don't give a fuck who you are. We will fight you on the spot. We have Patrick Price here. He's basically the Chuck Norris of esports. Is that because I pushed Nate or? Anyways, okay. so uh, <laughs> yeah, we got some energy drinks. Shout out uh, Nate Shot. We're not sponsored. Technically, we are. They did sponsor our team. This podcast is not sponsored. Correct. But they sponsored our team for this tournament. There is no other alternatives in <laughs> yeah. the venue. But they, no, but, they, but they, they, are, they are good. Hold though. on. They, they, sent, good, they sent product directly for our team. Oh, yeah. You did ask for yeah. it. Pat did ask for it. I was recruiting sponsors for the mm -hmm. event. Well played. Hey, yeah. hey. It well worked. played. It worked. That, 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 worked. that worked. That worked. So anyways, um, yeah, but this episode, I'm not sure when it's going to get aired. Uh, not really doing things in order, just sort of stacking the episodes, deciding on when each one's going to come out. Um, but technically, Pat is our first guest. Pat is our first guest, so. So I'm technically one, even though if it's like two, three, I or mean, four. I mean, you know, I, the student always has, he's got to respect whenever, the teacher. Whenever you do like the, the title, just put an asterisk next to the, whatever number it actually is. I'm writing, you know, master teaches me another lesson. <laughs> is that anyway, what the podcast that, title that, is? That's a fucking title, dude. But uh, yeah, so Pat, I want to, let's start this off by saying, I think that you're misunderstood. It's a fair statement. It's a fair statement. It's very fair. And do you, the first question I got for you is, you know, so you agree with that. Why do you think that is? Um, I mean, partially I think it was just that I, I did a pretty good job of my persona on camera throughout yeah. the years. Um, and I think, and this goes for a lot of COD fans now and then, was just not being able to kind of separate what they saw on camera versus what they kind of saw off camera, um, whether that be at an event or uh, talking from other, hearing other players specify. Because um, I think you're like what you said, like a lot of players have said that throughout the years. Yeah. Um, but I also think it was, you know, mainly just as a teammate, like who I am as a teammate is also a lot different than who I am like off your team. I agree. Um, and, and I think I always treated my team like, when we were competing and you kind of knew this, it was really like our team against yeah. the world. And there wasn't like as much friendships as there are today. And so like, I think like player relationships as they were building just outside of the game, um, I guess I didn't take them as, as serious, especially when we were teaming and like, it was literally like yeah. we were showing up, we were there to make money and we were going home. Like well, that was what we were planning to do. What I want to get into is mainly your, the public image. The public, because because right now it's like, you know, I'd be seeing you go on the flank. Yeah. You know, giving these takes. You, what do you think it, about my takes? You, I mean, you're definitely not 100% right all the time, but you are like 80% right. But you would say like in the cases that I'm, when I'm not right, I'm a little early on, like I could could be right. Yeah, yeah, not no, exactly. Yeah. So the, what I want to get into though, and what my sort of, you know, thoughts or opinion on you is, is that like they paint you out to be the bad guy, right? And you were painted out to be the bad guy your whole career. And I was just like, dude, that's not the fucking case at all. That's, it's like, it's weird, right? And, and, and I think, I wanna get your thoughts on this because cause I know why. It's because you are always, you're, you know, you're here on my podcast. So it's like, you're not on your own stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that whenever you've done content in the past throughout your career, even right now, right? It's like someone else's platform. Yeah. What I, well, yeah. But what I see them doing is sort of painting you in the, in their own image or, well, or, I mean, or, or like what they want you to be. That was what MLG did for, yeah. and CWL did for literally a decade. Like, um, and I mean, I think part of that comes with the territory, right? Because, um, even starting out, like 
when when there was just when there wasn't that many teams like uh -huh. um going back to like mw2 like it was literally like me against optic like those were the two top teams yeah and i think optic being like just the staple kind of like fan favorite to begin with and me just always being their competitor yeah kind of started that and then like like you said like other content related stuff whoever was running whatever piece just ran with that because yeah. that was like a talking point and that that shit made me sick to my stomach you yeah know? everything dude, i go dude, on is the villain dude, blah, dude, blah, blah. because it was such a it was such a like even throughout complexity right because i've been on both sides yeah it was like such a good versus evil like you know hero versus villain it wasn't ever that, that those are the storylines yeah well do you, you know this right the only time that we were ever the heroes is when we played for rico at anaheim that was like the one event yeah like yeah. every like that, that was, was the one time people cheered. Yeah, no, everyone was like, "Yes, please beat Rico," and then we beat him, and then it's like, yeah. "Okay, well, everything after that now we're the we're the villains." Yeah, I mean, even even past complexity, like throughout your, you know, your 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 prison sentence <laughs> yeah. on the on the old hundred thieves. I can't believe he, that was Nate, bro. Yeah, Nate got us those team. jerseys. Did you get free shoes at Foot Locker? No, man, nothing. <laughs> Just those, just those EGL jerseys. EGL's not even in business <laughs> oh, anymore. No, those, that, those jerseys were, no pun intended, a crime. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I tweet out sometimes. I think Nate owes me royalties on a oh, tee for making me wear those. Nate needs to pay you to delete that photo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, to me, it was just, it sucked to see because it was like once, once we split apart, right? Like 2015 AW? Yeah, because... Yeah. And, and then I was on optic. I always felt bad because it was like, dude, I'm I'm seeing my like one of my good friends being painted as a villain, yeah. the bad guy, the fucking Voldemort himself, <laughs> yeah. right? And I'm like, dude, he's not Voldemort. Like he's like, like y'all are just. How do I say it? It's like, it's it, it like to me, it was just such a red versus blue rather than like hero versus villain yeah it was just like it was like dude it, it became a problem when people started going after like who you are yeah you know and i mean i experienced that on cole too it was like you know people thought we were just fucking terrible human beings <laughs> yeah, because like, we were better than their their favorite team at call of duty and i mean we i mean we uh, uh, both of us, but also me. Like even after the fact, we played into it. Which yeah. I mean, yeah, that's still yeah, that's it, that's a problem with us too. Yeah, but like that should be possible without it going. I think without them taking it to the extent that that they did, right? Yeah. Like we were playing our part in the story, so to speak. But yep. uh, and I think we were having fun with it. But yep. I think to your point, yeah, I mean, I think like there's a there's a line that has to get drawn, mm -hmm. and I think, um, you know, I think that's troublesome for some people. Well, let me ask you this. Would you say you were having fun with it or you got tired of it? So you didn't know what else. So, well, it, I mean, I don't think it's either of those. I think it just got to the point where it was like there was nothing else to do, right? Like it, yeah. it wasn't like, like, okay, you, that, uh, yeah, you, that's literally what I've been doing. Yeah, you get to too. a point where it's like <laughs> a, a point of no return where it's yeah. like you just, like, that is what you have to do. Yeah. Like you, you can't convince anyone it's opposite at this point. Yeah. Like it's, everyone's, it's so ingrained in everyone's mind that that's yeah. just the opinion they're going to have. And so it's like, you know, yeah, when I come on this show or that show, like yeah. if I do something different, it's like, you know, I'll get kind of like, what the fuck is wrong with whatever? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just like, it's shitty to see because I see you, you know, everyone's saying, making Reddit posts about you or this and that. And oh, it's, it's with the flank. It's been crazy. Oh, dude, right? Yeah. And it's like, man, I'm just in there. Like, I think, and I believe that like, if Pat made his own content, if people knew who he was, Right. If you weren't doing other people's shit, if you were just painting your own picture yeah. of who you are, you know, then it wouldn't be like, you know, fucking fire pitchforks and a mob coming after you <laughs> yeah. whenever you do a hot take. It would just be like, you know, that's his opinion. Yeah. This and, guy said this. Yeah. And it's like the, the shitty thing is, is like because I'm sort of in the sort of in the same shoes as you and you're starting to realize how it looks like from the fan perspective I, now. yeah yeah see the thing is i've like i've sort of done what you did and it's it just becomes to like it gets to a point 
where you don't know, like you're getting ridiculed for being a villain so much that you don't know what to do to make it stop. So you, so it's like, it's like when someone makes fun of you, mm -hmm. right? You then use that own, like, you know, you roast yourself, you roll with the joke, yeah. right? So it's like when it's just repetitive over and over and over and you know, let's be honest, optic fan base, 80% of the competitive fan base at least. Yeah. And when it gets to the point where it's like, you don't know what else to do other than roll with it. Like that's when, it, that's when you make it actually even worse, you know? I mean, I think too, like this is, this is also part of like the CDL and the CWL's fault because dude, any content pieces they did played into those storylines. Oh yeah. Like it wasn't ever like a get to know Crim six or a yeah. get to know aches. It was literally like, you know, the questions would just lead with, so what's it like being the villain or like, yeah, you know what right. I mean? Like that's, that's the optics rival or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and, and so I think, you know, um, basically, yeah, like to your point, like you just, that's all you do and that's all you know what to do. Yeah. Um, and there's not like a, a reframe people's opinion. Yeah. That's, I mean, you might find this interesting. I've said this a couple of times on stream, but it was like, like, I'm sure you can agree. Like, we don't want to change who we are. Yeah. But we want to fix this issue. Right. You know? So I literally went into fucking speech research videos, right? Like, like, uh, psychological breakdown. Oh, I thought you were talking about like all my, this shit. I thought you were talking about like my old speeches from like 2K. Is no, 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 no. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But, uh, I literally went in. Like I'm talking months of research into one person and it was Robert Downey Jr. Cause, yeah. Cause I was thinking like, I don't, maybe I'm not a nice, like it's so weird to say between like being nice and just being a fucking pussy <laughs> okay. for lack of a better word. Um, like I don't want to come off as a hipster. I don't want to be like come off as like a peace advocate and all this shit when I'm not. And it's like, I don't want to change who I am. So it's like, how the fuck can I charm, persuade, or just, you know, convince these people that I'm not a horrible human being without changing myself. Yeah. You know? So I looked at like, yo, Iron Man, he's a fucking asshole, but everybody loves him. No one hates Iron Man. He's also a superhero. Yeah, but no, 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 no. But I'm just, I'm he's just rich. talking like yeah, yeah. I'm, when he doesn't have a suit no, on, yeah, yeah. you know, he's a dick to everybody pretty much. Yeah. But he's got, he has charm and all that shit. Charisma. So was, yeah, exactly. And I was like, I was like, what is with how he is? How, why can he be like this and not get hated for it? Like, why can he be the dick that everyone Yeah, why can he yeah. be the dick that, you know, no one else can do? Like no one else can fucking do that. And so I was pretty much like researching all that shit. You'd find it interesting. I know that. But the, my, my whole point of it is, is that you're already painted in this light, this negative light, villain, bad, evil, whatever. Right? It's just a bunch of list of terms. Yeah. Like the only thing that we could realistically do on Cole was just to sort of embrace it to like, lesson uh you know how many times it was fucking directed at us yeah. tweeted at us said also don't forget that when when we did the eg switch we, even if we wanted to produce our own content we could oh yeah <laughs> that shit was so even in the peak of our dude our let's talk about eg bro <laughs> god man there was so much that could have went right that just did rumor it. has it that we're still waiting for those contracts <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, dude, I still don't think a lot of people know like what our options were and what could have happened. And so, so I want because you were you just want to open the can and yeah, just fucking. I mean, dude, they don't exist anymore. Well, I mean, the people definitely still exist. <laughs> Eg as a brand still exists. Dude, yeah, I, it still exists. Exists. Yeah, but it's I, it's not the same. No, yeah, they got bought out by an investment group, uh, Peak Six. I did think. Did you did you hear what happened with Eg or yeah, w as to why we didn't get. Okay, hold on, pause. Okay. Let's go back. Pat, Okay. I want you to start from the beginning, starting from like complexity. when we're on complexity, 
go on EG. Okay. So, um, and start with how much our, our salary was. Yeah. I'll there. just break it back from day one. So, uh, our me, first fucking salary. So me and Teep were under a brand called Quantic Gaming. Um, and this was during MW3 and, and BO1. And obviously everyone knows MW3 didn't really have a competitive season that year. Um, and so going into BO2, uh, Quantic Gaming is, is basically reaching a point of like, um, they just ran out of money, right? They didn't have the investment money. Um, and so uh, Mark, who was owner of uh, Quantic at the time, um, reached out to Jason Lake, who's an industry friend, and Jason decided to take our COD team on for the year. Uh, so it was me and Teep, and we were recruiting. Um, I had obviously known you from your past Call of Duty career. Um, and I didn't know you. Yeah. But no, you, you did, because I definitely was smoking you I as in two really, I didn't really remember him at all. He's like, what was your first name? In COD 4? Yeah. Well, I, yeah, you wouldn't know me from COD 4 anyway, but um, it was like headaches um, in COD 4. No, what was it? I thought it was like, am I thinking it's Seth? Wasn't it like Skylight or some shit? Yeah, that was Seth. Okay, what was yours? Yours was some. I, re, I uh, remembered I had a your bunch first. Of MW2. I did the same shit no, I no, did. No, no, in like, COD 4. I remembered your it name. Was headaches. It was like with a Z, though. It was like, dude, this is what pissed me you off. You were a squeaker, though, right? I don't think I was a squeaker. I was definitely young, but. Your balls didn't drop yet. Because I remember, I, I remember two thousand eight. I was. I remember when 12? you t- told no. me about you. Fourteen. Your old tag, initially, I was like, I sort of remember you. I remember your high pitch ass voice. Is this true? I don't think so. Definitely not in MW two. Is he lying, one? Probably. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I was young, like everybody, but in, I don't, I, I don't remember us having any interaction in, in COD four. That's why I was saying, like, I thought I you pl- wouldn't I, remember I that. Played against you in. Okay, whatever. Back on top. Yeah, either way. My bad, um, my bad, my bad. So I had known about you from MW2 uh, in COD 4, obviously, when you played. Um, and so Teep did not want to pick you up at all. Like, oh, Teep, Teep was <laughs> adamantly against it. Teep was like, there's no fucking shot that I'm going to pick up this kid from Halo um, that I've never heard of in my life. I'm like, bro, just trust me. Like, this is a, a good risk to take. To talk about the eights. The what? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this where, was also where didn't Teep, help Teep's impression. Where Teep wouldn't fucking pick me. Yeah. He'd so, be captain and wouldn't pick his so own be- teammate. Before, yeah. So, before <laughs> we picked you up, you were like, you were trying to get back into COD and you yeah. were like, everyone Just knows that horrible. COD pros play the previous COD yeah, before yeah. the new one comes out. <laughs> so, before BO2 comes out, everyone's playing BO1. And yeah, you're hopping on and I'm like trying to get you in lobbies and no one will pick you. Even when Teep's captain wouldn't pick you. So you'd text me, yo, get on. You got to pick me. Like, and I could, I mean, obviously like I, I was, would get picked and just shit the yeah. bed. Our <laughs> team would lose yeah. like every time. Yeah, I would say I was pretty like high up in the food chain back then where I could definitely just get on and be like, I'm captain, pick you and then run with it. And yeah, uh, and yeah you would get world starred and, and look terrible. Yeah, I'd um, go fucking like, dude, I'd go like 11 and 30. <laughs> yeah, just not knowing what just you're doing. Bitching, you know, like, like playing Dom. Just playing Dom. I'm like using a gun i'm like to have no bad. i'm getting fucking shot off spawn like the moment i spawn i'm like dude i'm behind bro i'm <laughs> but, and we were 11 months into the, that game yep 11 months and i was sitting there like trying to no, just it was pick a it year up. and something in that game because we had played bo1 mw3 oh so everyone went we back, went back yeah. okay i gotcha um but anyway yeah so you were terrible and um <laughs> and teep was just not having it and so it took like it, it honestly took hours of convincing dude teep wouldn't even talk to me in the <laughs> yeah, lobbies bro dude. he would fucking ignore me no, no, like this is the best like part. teammate already. yeah he was my teammate this and is I'd the best be like, part Teep would not text the group chat that he was in with us. He would only message me directly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. That's yeah. fucked. Uh, Tyler, that's fucked, bro. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, it was it was tough to convince Teep that, like, that was the right move. And honestly, what it came down to is, like, I remember... Well, I just knew how much you grinded games. Yeah. Like, and that was, like, such a big thing back then. When, when did you know in the first... Like, when uh, Black Ops 2 came out? When was... Okay. When was Tyler convinced or like, when was he? I think, I mean, when we won frag cup. Yeah. I think Shit, that, was, that was like a month and a half in, bro. Fuck's yeah. sake. Dude. But I mean, you were doing good in scrims, right? But yeah. Like, we yeah. just hadn't reached like a tournament environment. We didn't play S and D. Yeah. Um, but I think honestly, the one thing it goes back to, and this was like the big selling point for, for when I, when I was explaining the teep was like, obviously knew you were from previous CODs, but also you literally grinded a, battlefield for a tournament that didn't exist yeah and you put like a year of your life into yeah, it yeah, for yeah. no reason i'm like bro if he and a lot grind, of fucking yeah. gummy worms mountain dew blue voltage <laughs> oh, and, 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 bro i i weighed 256 pounds yeah 
Well, I, also at that point, sacrifices people. Also at that point, so I just entered my first year of college. Yeah. You were in school. Teep was in school. Yeah. And so um, you were, me and you, me and you had a conversation. You were yeah. talking about dropping out, like, and, and taking this full time. Yep. Um, and, and after, obviously, after we had success four months in at Kachets, yeah. we were like, fuck it. Like, we should all do this because there's an opportunity to make money here. Yeah. Um, but I think, yeah. So then it was me, you, and Teep. And then we picked up Fears, who I had obviously teamed with. I knew was pretty good. Um, Did, well, let me ask you this, right? This is why I always, you guys just hear that? Why I think the complexity team was way better than the optic dynasty, right? Is we all three of us had the same exact goal. Yeah, it was, it was to make money. It was to make money. It was to, you know, get out of college in order, like to make this work to the point where like, we don't need to Ha, like do something we don't want to do. Yeah, I was going for computer science. Yeah. Tape was going for computer science. Yeah, we were all not, just like, yeah. fuck it. Like, if this yeah. doesn't work, that's our future. Like, yeah. Um, and none of us wanted that, right? Like, yeah. If we could have chosen, we were obviously wanting this to work. Um, anyway, we were still on complexity. Uh, we were not making any money. Yeah. Um, because they basically inherited like the contracts and we made new deals, whatever. It was like no money. They would pay for the travel for the events and yeah, and yeah. Stuff that like that first contract was, was no it. salary. Travel. It was just travel, yep. right? Yeah. Um, and back and in the day, that was... That was a good contract. That was good, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I went from fucking a uh, full Halo team in a bedroom. Yeah. Sharing beds with fucking... But we did have to do uh, YouTube content. Um, there was some YouTube... Remember, like, the Complexity channel was trying to start some YouTube content? I don't think I did any. Did I do any? We did a couple. Maybe of it was, like, episodes. create classes and... Yeah, it was some basic COD yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, just to get COD audience on the Complexity yeah, yeah. channel, because that's what Jason Lake was trying to build at the time. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, anyway, we, we obviously, we drop fears, pick up too quick. The worst decision I think we all can agree we made. Um, too quick was a great wait, play. Wait, 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 too. wait, 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 wait. We can't let that one slide. Picking up too quick? Yeah, so Pat, it was Pat, bro. It, it also was, wasn't me. There was okay, no other option. We got to get Teep on the show to confirm this, right? Okay, let's see. But this is what actually happened. Their options were too quick, John. I don't think we could have got John. He, well, he was an option, but we didn't. It yeah. was it was sort of iffy, right? Yeah. Who's the other one? It was no Damon. Don't say Damon because he was not an option at the time. It was Damon. It was not Damon because, dude, we wanted Mir. Let's be honest. We, we wanted, did want Mir. We yeah, wanted Mir. Is fucking nasty. Yeah, we, we wanted Mir. Yeah, yeah, but that, that was, was that was our number one. That was a pipe dream, dude. Bro, that also, shit was not happening. Something that people don't understand about early BO2 is Mir was the best player in the game for the dude. first four months. No one was better than Mir. Dude, re- <laughs> dude. He was the best Rest player. Rest in peace to Mir's career, bro. He, dude, that is a case of winning too early. Yeah. Because he was too good too fast. Yeah. That, dude, he was, he was simp and a BZ before simp and a BZ. Yeah, no. Straight up. He was, honestly, he was just different. Like, the pressure he put on the map was just unbelievable. Like, yeah. he was impossible to deal with. For the Like, yeah. I know everyone looks at stats and everything, and obviously Damon had a great champs, and Chris yeah. had a great champs, but, like, Mirror the way was Mirror played X-Factor. was... factor yeah, yeah. He, like, he, he beat teams, like, by himself. Um, anyway, so we wanted Mirror... Um, and then, and then going into our decision on too quick, the biggest problem was this: it was the fact that we knew that me, you, and Teep's roles worked. We were yeah. looking at it like we have the recipe. We yeah. need an AR. Yeah, that's why we didn't go for John or anyone else. We needed an AR. And yeah. At the time, too quick was actually doing really well. Like at that Chicago event, he, he played better than Damon and Killa. Yeah, and and, and everyone else at that opener. Like, um, but plot twist, it was only because of AN 94. Yeah, we didn't know that, obviously. And then also the, the meta fucking foul came, the out. meta became the foul. And I think that was the big problem. Um, and we didn't want to switch you to main AR. That was yeah. a big thing. We, we wanted Dude, to I was you. practicing. I remember I was like, for some reason, I can shoot way faster with my middle <laughs> finger than my pointer. So I was like figuring out how to like claw. I was literally practicing like hours per day. Yeah. Just trying try, to like, like trying to shift to claw so I could shoot the foul. And I could shoot it fast as fuck. Couldn't but, aim though. But the problem was this: we didn't. We aim. knew we knew what we had worked. Yeah. We just needed a, an actual fourth man AR. Yeah. And uh, and so we didn't want to switch our role. We just went with too quick. We rolled the dice. We were stuck with that roster for the event before and champs because of roster yeah. lock. Um, so it was just it was what it was. We got fourth. We obviously know how the we should have got at least thirty yeah. champs. We yeah. know how aftermath S and D went down. Dude, people give like they give us so much shit for that. But it's like, dude, the next event. Like we, they out, cause to us, right? We borderline didn't even care about fucking placings. We yeah. cared more about money, money yeah. because 
uh, after champs was when we all well that's when i dropped out everyone did yeah well the the semester ended yeah so we just yeah, yeah. Didn't re- we were like Fuck, yeah, we're not same. going back yeah then and to me it's just like dude the next event was anaheim where we got first they got what like I don't know what the fuck. I think like fifth. Sixth, yeah. Probably. And I was like, bro, we just made the money back. Like we're up on them. Yeah. You know, that, that was how we were looking at it. But anyways, continue um, to the. Yeah. So PG then we, show. we obviously run the year. We pick up yeah. clay. Yeah. Uh, we picked up clay at champs in reality. Like remember we invited, we oh, like, yeah, clay, come yeah. to our room. Yeah. Like I was making jokes. Like I'm going to play hopscotch in yeah. the freeway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hanging out with fucking yeah, ogres. It was, it was a depressive dude, few dude, hours. Dude, dude, we were through Matt, Mr. X. Uh, our I old coach played dude what, d- dude i was sitting there like at champs i was like yeah we just got fourth but i'm sitting here at a fucking denny's or some shit sitting across from my literal euro ogre two right and i was like i was like what I'm making you know fucking losing my mind like i'm gonna hurt myself jokes <laughs> you know because we got fucking fourth but i'm like ogre two's right there was, shit was crazy um but yeah. we knew we could have got first. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. Dude. Breakdown. Too quick breakdown, bro. <laughs> bro, bro he straight up said, remember what he straight up said to us? I'll never fucking forget this. Which time? When he was like, after we got fourth at champs, he came up to us or he came up to me. He's like, he's like, dude, you know, apologizing. My bad. All oh, this shit. Yeah, 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 right. And he's like, and then he goes like, dude, you guys dead ash like made me 25 grand like he he yeah. what i could tell was like he felt like he didn't deserve it well he knew he at played all that. yeah no but he knew he, he would played so bad to the point where it was like if he gave us five more kills a map we win the tournament <laughs> yeah i mean i mean uh, here, well, the, the weird part is with too quick though at least he had the fucking balls oh he's a good dude and self-accountability yeah i actually even though i was so mad at him for shit in the sheets. As far as teammates go, he yeah, is a good I team. instantly felt like I was not as mad as I was before after he said that because I was like, dude, at least he fucking has the accountability to yeah. know like he let us down. Yeah. You know? And honestly, you know, respect for that. So. Also, but something we didn't call out here is that Too Quick was also really good when he originally started playing on our team. Mm-hmm. It was when we played 800 matches of league play to qualify for oh, champs bro. that that made. I, I think bro, that what, was bro. The what killer. was our record? 812. Dude, it was absurd. And like fucking eight out of 12 and losses. We were first eight, eight, yeah, eight out of 12 losses were the lagouts. Three were first. well, no lagouts or fucking sleepouts. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, I remember that shit, bro. I'd be like playing a fucking drift off, and then like I'd wake up again back in the middle of like the same map in a different spot i'm like just how the fuck did it okay just keep Bro, running forward people don't understand this that was in like a 40 day period like you had to qualify for champs through league play, yeah and it was like based on the team's record on the fucking leaderboard dude we were so, and w- dude how many people do you think yeah so so back in the day it was, was like great it was like to qualify for fucking champs it was top eight on league play and this is right when league play yeah. came out that was but, like the marketing move but it was like play. the team league play right? well you got ranked as a team back then if you yeah. queued as a party of four see why the fuck did they get rid of that i don't know yeah, like that was uh, like that was the coolest fucking thing like cod devs okay you know what yeah you can make ai duck and crouch when you fucking preem them but like just because you can't you can do something doesn't mean you should do it okay that shit invasion fucking dog shit Take that whole team, repurpose it into fucking team league play matches. Like that would be so much better. Yeah. Anyways, back on topic. It was an absolute grind. How many people do you think cheated in A that? Lot. Like had different people well, play. It and was shit? mostly DDoSing. That was the big thing. Oh yeah, right? it was those fuckers. Um, because that was like when when the hitting people offline through Skype was yeah. like the the thing to do. Yep. Um, so that was obviously a problem. But how, anyway. how many people do you think ringed? Like uh, oh a lot, well dude, um, ego and Ricky and them when their team didn't qualify because yeah. they they ringed and had someone that like wasn't uh, eligible. Yeah. Um, How did they even find that out? I'm did not sure. I'm pro- I'm sure probably someone snitched and then it just went up the food chain for someone uh, to check. 
Um, but anyway, lesson learned, trust no one. Yeah. So we went off on a tangent there, but basically we, uh, we ran the rest of the year with clay. Like we, we knew, we knew that was yeah. the outcome when we yeah. picked clay up. We were like, all right, we finally got the piece we've been trying to get for yeah. four months. Um, and yeah, we ran it and, and we were obviously the, the fan favorites for some, somehow when we beat for And then as soon as that Anaheim event ended, every event we went to after that, we were the enemies. Um, and yeah, we ran like G1, G2. Um, I don't remember all the events during BO2. And then we yeah. got, obviously, we lost at PAX, which is funny because. Century guns. Riot Shield, Century Guns. Yeah. There was a bunch of shit. But it was also funny because we were we were pissed about the prize pool as well. Like, the prize pool reduction was really small. Oh, it yeah. was like, I think the difference between first and second was $250. I'm going to be honest, Pat. I wanted to win that one. I mean, obviously, we all did. but Because it was in Seattle. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. yeah the yeah, home if, yeah, there, dude, if there's like next year, if there's a Warzone tournament in Seattle, in Seattle, I don't think it's going to be. Never, I've never won in my home turf. Really? Yeah, never. The only chance there's a tournament in Seattle is when Activision is bought out by Microsoft. That's probably what they're going to happen if it oh, yeah. Wait, that did happen. That they, hasn't it's not happened yet. 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 Yeah. In a couple it, of years. Oh, it hasn't happened. I think, yet. I think you'll know by like late 2023. Dude, I think that's the. If you make it to what 32, is there to you're going to out, bro. No. Just like, fuck's sake. Whether well, they're making a monopoly? <laughs> yeah. So. Well, I mean, they're like, uh, it takes years to figure out that buyout. They're years. still figuring out Twitter as well. So Dude, it's like, fire, those big fire that fucking CEO. Give him his 125 mil. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Dude. Bobby Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, man. But uh, anyways. We run the year. What, what what was our we got a new contract in the middle of the year? Yeah, we went we won seven out of eight events. This is yeah. At, when we picked up Clay, obviously. Yeah. And we're renegotiating. With, with Jason Lake and the complexity guys. Um, and we're all like, we're, we're all unemployed in reality, yeah. right? Uh, no, no income. Um, and we're negotiating salary and I'm, I'm going back and forth with Jason Lake. We get, we get 500 bucks a month. And I remember calling, I called you all and we were all so fucking hyped. We were hyped, dude. Bro, this was like the was, first time. I was time. thinking like, dude, that's cup of noodles for a month at <laughs> least, dude. This is the first time anyone had gotten paid. Like yeah. outside of maybe like, optic obviously nate shot and stuff, I, and stuff I think, but yeah it was one of the like no one was getting salary no no yeah, no one was getting raw yeah. money and and that's what i want people to consider right so i leaked my own salary on the flank right oh you did yeah oh. about like your new york salary yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. which is so let's put this in a perspective right but talk about For, the contract first. The contracts now is like tops three years. How was that contract? Like five hundred a month for how long? It's a month to month. It was until they wanted to just stop. It was five hundred dollars per month for, for year. one year. For one year, okay. Um, but they did have right to first refusal, dude. It was not player friendly. Oh no 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 not at all, dude. It but was. We didn't have an option. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so like I want people to understand this, right? Because I leaked my my salary. Like on purpose, because that's some. It's honestly something that I'm very fucking proud of. Yeah, I was like, dude, I went from zero dollars a month to five hundred to whatever the fuck. Not, it not was only zero dollars a month. Yeah, you played like you had a, and a you gaming had, career for like seven years. Yeah, at zero dollars a yeah, month, yeah, playing yeah, Halo yeah, and yeah, COD no, exactly. and this and that. Yeah, and it's like, and yeah, exactly. And it, it dude, it was like five four five six years with no salary nothing yeah just no, passion yeah. <laughs> and then it was 500 dollars a month and i worked all the way up to like that number three to like, like 30 grand a month yeah. i mean that and that wasn't even one of the highest i got paid was fucking 380 but it's it's crazy to me and it's something that like i think you know all us old timers right should be wearing with like a fucking badge of honor yeah you know we were here from the beginning we're a big reason it is what it is today yeah exactly. and I, don't, I don't think the yeah. community well i also i mean i kind of have a gripe with cdl about this yeah is like when that cwl to cdl transition happened yeah cdl acted like you know like the men in black like fucking memory wipe yeah. thing cdl acted like everything that happened in, in the call of duty history realm of yeah. like everything before cdl didn't exist yep. it was gone wiped from memory they don't reference it they don't bring it up like everything is just new and, and yeah, to your point, I mean, I think like thinking back, like I, I was having a combo with Cap like the other day, like if we didn't do what we did, and this goes for everybody, they not wouldn't me have or sold. you. Huh? They wouldn't have, uh, or they probably still would have sold what the CWL 
Who was running it back then, the CWL? What was that company? MLG? No. Oh, you're talking about, yeah, well, it was weird because Activision was like working with MLG and yeah. then ESL got rights yeah. and then the, like the, the back sh- to MLG. The shitty thing is, is like we as the players, yeah, Activision, MLG, and uh, what was that other company that I'm thinking of? ESL? And BO3? ESL, yeah. right? Well, that was just a yeah, nightmare. Yeah, they were all the infrastructure, right? Yeah. But it, the thing is, is, dude, you can get infrastructure from for anything from fucking so many different sources, yeah. right? What kind of pissed me off was all these, you know, ho- however much the COD League or the CWL sold for, right? The, the people who actually built it, built it, like the players, like we got fucking borderline nothing. Oh, yeah. We got... I mean, uh, like we had, uh, what, okay, fuck that, right? That doesn't, that's debatable, right? But the biggest thing is that w- the players had no say in it. Oh, and like the transition? In the that, transition, yeah. in the amount of teams, in the format, in the, I mean, we went to 5v5. That, the worst decision. Bro, we had made. no fucking say in any of it. Yeah. It was just basically a email saying, hey, player briefing for next year, right? This is how well, we, shit's we were. Be. We were, yeah, we were treated as if like if we didn't like it, it was like too bad. Be grateful, yeah, piss off. Yeah, yeah, like be grateful you even have this yeah. opportunity. And, and, it, and that was by everybody, like at the time. And it was just so shitty because it's like Call of Duty's one of those esports where it's like it's different. It's player dominated. It's yeah, Always it's different than yeah. It's like you go to CS:GO or you know Valorant, whatever. I watch it's CS:GO all, it, all the time. It's, it's all fucking the teams org. Play. It's yeah. org dominant. Yep. You know, and. It just sucked to me because I was sitting there like in the first meeting, I think I bailed out. I skipped out of it. Like I the was player like, meeting? Yeah. I was the like, one in LA? Yeah. I was you like, sh- you should have made like, that one, bro. We were, I was like, no, no. Yeah. Everyone was raging. Yeah. We were bitching. Yeah. yeah. I was like, dude, fuck this, bro. Like, why Why should I listen to them and they don't listen to me? That was from where? From Activision to CWL or CWL to CDL? What that, was the transition? That, that was CDL. Like the first yeah. ever CDL. Well, was, back, back in the day, it was just like honestly there weren't any like activision employees that were player facing like we went everything was through mlg and then yeah. went to the activision whoever the teams were they were running like yeah the, mlg the sports they group. were they were the shit because they listened to us yeah i mean ML, honestly mlg gets 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 hate from time to time but they they really did do yeah. a lot um yeah but anyways the back to the eg thing right? oh yeah uh, so, so so we start you start talking. Yeah. Pat kept us all in the dark, pretty much. It's not really what happened. It was just I was talking one-on-one with Alex Scarfield because I was, like, the only one that really knew him. Tennis ball guy. Tennis ball Do you guy? think he's still bouncing that tennis ball? <laughs> no you idea. don't fucking remember that? Listen, bro. Look. Bro, he'd walk down the streets of San Francisco just Listen, bouncing <laughs> this fucking little tennis ball over and over he's and over. He's still an incredibly smart dude. Probably he bounces a tennis ball around okay, all day. Who the, the fuck does that? that uh, you know what? Who you know who does that type of shit? An actual genius. An evil who the genius? fuck? Who the <laughs> dude? If I ever see some random schmuck walking down the street and he's bouncing a tennis ball, I'm like, there goes fucking Albert Einstein right there, dude. <laughs> like it's just weird. Okay? okay, it's just weird. Okay, that's a fair. That's a fair. Yeah, uh, fair assumption. Yeah, I don't. I didn't even remember his name. Until you just said it, I just remember that. Well, he was kind of kind of a ghost, right? Like he he didn't really have like he wasn't um, media facing. He was just the mind behind EG and Colin Deshong. Uh, is he who dick is riding right now? The CEO. A little bit. He's dick riding. Yeah, I'm not dick riding. I'm just explaining. He's still he's friends a with lot them. Of, oh, he's friends with them. Did you go? To no, his, I haven't talked oh, to him. Okay. I did. I did actually when I won champs in 2018. I tweeted out the check and I was like, because the big thing is when. Oh yeah, he won champs on EG. Yeah. So that was like the. Oh, I yeah. tweeted him. He replied. He was like, "So sick." Did you play with his balls? He wasn't even on EG when I won champs. You didn't answer the question yet, though. <laughs> no, he said, yeah, right. He avoided that shit, <laughs> no, bro. He because avoided it, that shit. It blew bro. my mind. <laughs> that was the. Mo- <laughs> okay. Um, hey, yo. <laughs> no, I didn't play with his tennis balls. Okay. Um, I wasn't talking about those. That's not this type of podcast. Burn bridges. I thought you were supposed to be brand Burn friendly. Brand friendly here. We got no sponsors. <laughs> yeah. That's why yeah. you need to be brand friendly. Sorry, Nate. And your shit. In we just it. lost it. We just listen, lost it. Listen, listen, listen. We better get anti sponsored. Bottom line <laughs> is we, we won champs. Oh, wait. Well, should, we talk about, should we talk about dropping Clay for Damon? 
No, no. I want to talk about how we were promised a fucking okay. pot of gold. Okay. Anyway, yeah. By EG. So, so hold on. So we win champs. We're the best team in Call of Duty's ever yeah. seen. Um, and we obviously, you know, we were looking at like thirteen out of fourteen grand finals in a row or whatever. Yeah. We were like looking at that, and we were like, dude, like we, I think we can get more than five hundred dollars a month. And yeah. it wasn't going to happen with complexity. Um, just logistically, like it yeah. wasn't, that was not where the scene was. Bitch is going to afford us. <laughs> um, and so, so obviously we went look. oh, to be fair, complexity treated us great. Let's, I mean, that's, yes. that's a fair, true statement. Like and, we, and, and now to this day, right now, I understand why we had to rep sound blasters. Oh yeah. Even though that shit made our ears bleed. Yeah. It was Honestly, bad. you guys see how small my ears are. Right. It's because we were making. I think they stunned my growth. <laughs> That's well, they were so they were not small, console <laughs> friendly headsets. Like they were a PC dominant market. Like bro, they were playing on console. They with were like not adapters. human being friendly. They were not Homo sapien friendly. Well, the problem the problem was their <laughs> PC headset was like three hundred dollars, and their console was like forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, what do you what you, those cushions, right? So the I don't even call those cushions, bro. The actual headset quality, the sound quality, was not. The headphone, it's the the speakers itself wasn't that bad. No, it was actually pretty good for seventy dollars. I mean, it was like a turtle beach, but like what you could. The expect. mic <laughs> that was horrible. Was was dude? It was. Have I'm you ever went back I, and watched our listening videos? I'm saying, dude, I could make a better mic, <laughs> and okay. I have no fucking idea what I would what I'd be doing, right? But the cushions, though, they rubbed okay. your ears raw, bro. You had like, yeah, and you got a skinny head, bro. Me. I got a chode of a head, bro. Kind of wider than it is fucking long. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. So, so that shit, I remember on one of the pairs, I, on one of the versions, I had to break the headset to have it fit around my head. I'm not even kidding. But the cushions though, man, what do you think they were made of? Because the cushions would deflate within a couple hours. It was like carpet, bro. Like, the, 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 like the bad carpet, like dude, bad quality carpet that dude, gives you like rug burn. They filled that like. shit with fake air. I don't even, that's not even real, but that shit, dude. What do you mean with filled, no cushions are filled with air? What does Bro, that they, mean? They, that shit was inflated like a fucking air mattress, dude. And I'm not, and I'm, and then the seams and all that shit, dude, it deflated so fast. And then the plastic would like. The plastic was it, bad. It, it, it's yeah. basically like taking a cushions off a headset, right? On a tiny headset. And then fucking. So we're just, you're, you're making this. sure you're never getting a sound blaster sponsorship for well, the Well, there's no way their company still exists. It does. It does. It does. I think it got acquired. They, yeah, they're still, they're still a company, bro. Bitch, how? <laughs> Probably Bitch, by a different name. How? Listen, you're getting off topic. <laughs> yeah. We, we love uh, complexity. No, fuck that bridge, bro. That bridge, bro. That one's definitely burned now. I could definitely, su- we could have sued them, bro. I'm pretty sure we, Jason Lake shared your, uh, your opinion. I mean, to the I sound know. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, department. yeah. Complexity <laughs> was super serious about make forcing us to wear sound blaster. Well, I, I think it was just that they were super serious about sponsorship loyalty. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah which I at now being so much more wiser. Understand the, the business same, aspect. Yeah. The same immaturity level. Right. But I am wiser now. I understand why. They're paying right? the bills. But with that being said, that was sound our $500 blaster, a month. Exactly. That's yeah. where you're coming from. Sound Are you talking blaster, shit about it? I'm going to sue you guys for like $30 per cut that I had on my ear. Uh, deformity, all that shit. That was horrible, dude. That was okay. Back on topic. This is the longest fucking story. Yeah, ever. yeah. So obviously we BG. had we had some some issues with uh, our sponsors on complexity and just yeah. we felt we were a little bit limited, um, and yeah. not because we weren't treated fairly. We were treated great. Um, and so we went out and we were looking at different opportunities. Obviously, our contract at this point had like six months left or something mm-hmm. like that. We were the best Call of Duty team in the world, and we wanted to browse our options. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but we had two. Well, we had more than two options, but we decided on two. We came out of two. And it was EG. We had three. No, it was just... No. EG. And MLG. That was it. MLG. Shit, we had four. You don't remember this? It was EG. It was MLG, which was... Those were our last two. Which was... We'll yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. That, those are our final options. Yeah. Which is the red final boss. What are you talking about? Four. Navi. Oh, but those had already been eliminated, though. Yeah, yeah. no, but I'm saying, like, just... A, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, could, Navi, yeah. Navi was an option. And then the, this is the one we really should have done. The Astralis route. 
So that was going to be way more work though. And which we could have, I mean, look at tape now, bro. Yeah, but we would have had to front load that back. Look then. at me right now. I'm doing the same fuck. I mean, dude, we, yeah, could, but the we, ecosystem is so different. Okay, it's wait, 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 pause, pause, pause. We got to say what it was. So the, the last option was pretty much to create our own org, own our own. Well, our own team, we were own our, our own, own team. team. Yeah, we had Pat, let me ask you this in esports. Have you ever owned anything? No. Me neither. No. Yeah. I mean, how, how many times have you been promised? Yeah, there's been equity. there's been on the table a couple of times. Um, but, but either Same. way, we we, uh, we I met, wish I owned something. We, we met with a couple of marketing agencies and a lot of industry veterans at the time, and yeah, there was an opportunity, but it was just going to cost us money. Um, and the return was based on if we got team deals. Yeah. And the landscape back then was like. It obviously wasn't what it was today. And so it was It was a much more of a risk. It, and we just yeah. wanted guaranteed money. Um, looking back, yeah, I mean, but also if we did that route, we don't know how it would have played out, right? Like, because you went to Optic six months later. You know what I mean? So it was yeah, like- Yeah, I would have stayed. Yeah, obviously. But like uh, recruiting people, how are we going to pay salary? Like, it was just a lot more of a complicated thing. And we just didn't think we were, we were I there think it yet. That would have, we would have killed it. Yeah, I don't think at the moment now, you guys yeah. weren't ready for it though. It's, at the moment, you guys weren't ready I, for yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. Exactly. And you're I, going from 500 a month to trying to build your I own think, brand. And Matt would have been our like manager. Matt would have had a percentage of our ownership. Like to it me, just would have been a lot more To me, it was a lot of trust in- it's like a, how I'd imagine like an artist has with like a agent or like a, you know, hopefully they're not fucking stealing from me. You know, yeah, it, I mean, it would have been a lot of trust like that because we were like, we knew the game. The biggest thing, why I think it would have worked. It would have right. only worked if we said we were going to stick together forever. True. Like but, me, you, but, Teep and Damon, we're going to run COD for sure the next three yeah. years. The, well, the thing is, is like we were so committed, so nerdy. So like that was the only thing we did. Right, like we were perfectly fine with putting twelve hours a day. Oh yeah, that was an issue. It. Yeah, no, but and in hindsight, that's all it really takes. When 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 you have our status, when you have our accomplishments, all that shit, that's all it really takes. I mean, if you want me to be honest, I think we would have we would have done really well in jetpacks had we stuck together. Probably, I don't know about T. T was actually not bad when when T played uh, in Bo3 on that MV team with me, him, Slasher, and Cap. He was he was good. Like I don't know how he played in AW much, but um, but the problem is too like same thing with T was getting older. Like he yeah. he got to the point where he didn't enjoy competing as much, like, especially after yeah. winning as much as we did. Yep. Um, but yeah, anyway, we crossed out Navi. We crossed out uh, starting our own thing, and our last two options was MLG. We would have been owned by MLG in a sense, and they would have created a, the the red final boss brand, which is obviously the blue brand that they have in Halo because they own the rights to it. Show the logo now. Do you, Fire. Do you know where that's at? Because it's it's not like on the internet. It's only on like, a, I think I've tweeted out a couple times. You might have tweeted out. It's on Google Images. The red final boss one? Yeah, you tweeted out. Oh, I, or, from when we yeah, got it's, tweeted? It's yeah. saved. It's on the internet um, forever. Yeah, I, I remember when Adam sent that to us. That was sick. We were, we were all that was like... the first time I had an erection over a PNG. <laughs> Dude, it was sick. <laughs> bro, the final boss one, like the real one is dope. Bro, I actually no, think the red no, one was even better. No, have yeah, you seen the red one? I haven't. I gotta go look Pull for it. Pull it up right now. We get your reaction. Bro. Just search red final boss. Yeah. And and, and yeah, so so obviously MLG owned the rights to the brand. And uh, I think MLG was interested because they knew they were launching MLG TV. Right? And so they would have... Uh, they would have they would have owned our that team. It's fire, bro. You see it? Is it this one? Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's yep. fire, bro. And, and that played it because we were obviously red on complexity, like yep. um, yeah. And it, it gave us our own identity. Like we would use yeah. obviously the same team name that the the Ogre Two and, and the the Halo Legends mm -hmm. used, but yeah. we would have had our own spin on it. And I think it would have been I think it would have been awesome in COD. Uh, and that was something we were really considering. We even got the go ahead. Yeah, we could have made it happen. From like the old final boss guys. Yeah. 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 Two grand. Well, Matt yeah. was with us, so it was a lot easier. Yeah. Um, I don't think Walsh was really down for it. Yeah. But. But you sponsored by Red Bull. So. Yeah. But, lo but looking back, um, that <laughs> was, you. that was also a little bit harder to make happen because yeah. of the buyout situation. Um, and so, so yeah, I, I had reached out to EG um, and I would obviously be in talks and then it just came down to the sale. Um, and we, at the time we sold for more than any transaction in call of duty that ever happened. I think it was like 75 grand for our team, that which, was it? yeah, but, but back then that's absurd. Yeah. That's a lot of money back then. Bro, this is 2014. Like back then that was absurd. Dude, like, there was like articles on that shit. That was like the biggest 
at the time Const- console, sale console sale ever yeah. of all time at the time yeah 75 grand that was it but we, well think about it they paid 75 grand for six months contracts <laughs> that's all we had left like we could have walked like it was obviously we had to re-sign yeah, um true. and anyway which yeah so so we were going to eg and the the premise of this whole deal was that we were going to re-sign a massive contract with Evil Genius. It's like we were going to get... You guys would have promised that. Yeah, we were going to get like way higher, like 4X salary. Bro, I moved into a fucking crack house. <laughs> that that s- house wasn't that bad. That EG house? Bro, it wasn't that bad. Where was, where was that at? What but island was that on? In San Alameda. Francisco? Alameda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lived there for eight months. Were you there that long? Dude. I mean, I visited a bro, couple times. I don't think you understand. I lived there, right? A couple oh, StarCraft players. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dota. Yeah, dude, the Dota. So it was... They were cool guys. The though. Dota, I mean, they were... They were rich. Too. They were good, too. <laughs> they were the they, best team in the world, yeah, yeah, at the time. Yeah, so I was living with the Dota guys that... This is when they were like first, first, second. This was third. also prime EG. They had like yeah. Huck and StarCraft. They had like the three best StarCraft yeah, the, guys. The Dota guys DNA. kicked me out. They they threw me in the staff room to play COD. They're like, you're too loud. <laughs> and I'm like, don't worry. I don't want to spell your fucking two week old pad tie anyways, yeah. dude. Like, like, dude, they, yo, I was sitting there like, this is commitment because that food is three <laughs> weeks old and they're still munching on that shit because they can't, <laughs> they don't want to get up and go go walk to the fucking fridge well, bro they were playing for the the, dude. the ti or the dude it was next the international level. yeah and they were playing for like 30 million yeah but dude and then dude universe if you somehow get see this right he still you, follows me on twitter you are a motherfucker you <laughs> what the fuck? bro he put the ac right i'm gonna let let you guess the number i'm gonna just preface 69. it by saying it's hot it's hot hot in san fran in san francisco he wasn't putting the ac on something low no he put the heat on in the summer what do you think what do you think the temperature he put it on 75 higher bro 82 so you were sweating bullets higher higher god damn you were sweating bullets then bro i slept naked (laughs) while while i shared a room (laughs) you didn't share a room i shared a room (laughs) no you didn't i shared a room yes i did no, you didn't. Yes, I did. You had, bro. Okay, you want to ask the, the German fucking programmer <laughs> that was from EG that introduced me to fine beer? You shared a room. Bro, 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 when I, I visited, I there shared, was like six bedrooms in the house. Dude, and they were all taken by the, how many people is on the Dota team, bro? All right, listen. We're going no, 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 no. Wait, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. Before this, right? It was 88 god jesus bro, that's I literally, like what it is outside in bro, texas my right, bed, right now bro my bed right i didn't even need blankets i just needed a pillow was that bad bro it was bad literally yeah but Sorry, anyway share a share room yeah so anyways and yeah we're in a fucking yeah uh, a, a repoed fucking dea crack house that was resold <laughs> <laughs> bro, true story on, true on. story why were there so many snails on alameda island like everywhere you went on the I don't know. sidewalk bro you were stepping on snails. yeah i crunched those i felt nothing when i it massacred them <laughs> dude um, no i miss that island though that was actually it was nice it was close to the office bro, I, we, I i got chipotle and they watch the wind sailors we, we also we also um eg was sponsored or getting acquired by twitch at the time and we went to the Twitch uh, offices, which was like really early. This yep. was like uh, two years after the like Justin TV to yep. Twitch thing. Um, and that was a really cool experience. And and we really felt like, I mean, that was the right move at the time. Um, Everything was really good. Yeah, it was going great for like the first few months. But Everything behind was, the scenes. Well, well, it, it hit a point. When, when I think when EG got word that the MLG TV thing was happening, but they were getting acquired by Twitch... It ruined everything. That's not what happened. That is what happened. So I learned about a year ago. Well, that's why the contracts were being put on hold. Nope. Yes, it is. That's nope. for sure why the contracts were nope. being put on hold. I, I promise nope. you. It was because Amazon was that's, buying Twitch. So all well, the so, I, yeah, so, all, so all the Twitch assets were frozen. But so they were not Twitch could not since Twitch was buying EG. Yeah. And Amazon was buying Twitch, right? Because Twitch was getting bought out, Twitch froze everything. But one so, thing so, happened so, way so, later. Twitch acquired EG first. No, I know. But the, well, think about Amazon acquiring Twitch. If Microsoft and fucking Activision, yeah, but that happened later. Years, yeah, no, but if that's going to take years, right? How long do you think the Amazon buying Twitch but, but, was going out? But I'm telling you, what originally was the issue 
Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure that definitely caused problem. But what originally was the issue was that Monster Energy was the big sponsor for X Games. That's why like they wanted yeah. us. They wanted the best COD team at X Games. Um, and then uh, EG is set to be acquired by Twitch, and MLG TV is now gaining the exclusivity rights to COD. I'm, which, t- I'm telling you, that's not. But hold on, yeah. which means that EG could not be the team in Call of Duty. I mean, yeah, that so, that aligns. So, so the option was. EG was going to create another brand just like they did with Alliance. Mm -hmm. And we were going to, it was going to be the same thing. It would basically be just a subset under EG that's. So we, so either way though, we still should have gotten. Well, that's what happened. We still should have got the new contracts. But it got, right. Well, we did get a pay raise. So we did go from 500. Yeah, we did. We went from 500 to 1,000. That was like the, um, like part of them yeah. getting our, our acquiring our contracts. Oh, no. oh, well, that was right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was like, that was like that good was, faith. That, yeah. That, it was yeah. good faith. It was like, that was just six months. But then after that, we were promised like 3,500. Yeah. yeah but something we, like that. But basically we get acquired or we get uh, bought out and he's like, all right, we're going to go ahead and pay you a yeah. thousand, raise your, you know, raise your yeah. contract for this year. Um, and then after we're going to resign you. And so, th- yeah, they were running through a million options. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm talking about. And nothing happened. This, this is from an inside source at EG at the time. So that's why we didn't, and I never knew this and no, none of us knew it. Like we just, we were just basically like at a loss for words. Like we were promised a fucking pot of gold. Right. I, I think what you're, you're getting confused is no, I'm saying, I'm saying after you're, you're talking about why we didn't resign six months later. Like yes, why yes, that went away. Yes, yeah. I'm yeah. talking about right away. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I'm agreeing with you. That happened. Yeah. Right. But I'm saying either way that they, they were figuring out and what you just said, like it could have worked. Right. And what I'm saying is why it didn't work. Why we didn't resign? Yeah. Why? Why? Why, cool. why there's no offer on the table? Why? You know, everything just sort of went away. Was all because Twitch or Amazon was buying Twitch, and Twitch was owned EG, and pretty much like Twitch was like, "Hey, we're just getting bought." Like, you know, pump extra money into nothing. You know what I mean? So th- Twitch didn't have the authority to give anyone else more money than they were already paying them just for a short period of time. Yeah. And it just so happened that our team, you know, our contracts were in that short period. Yeah. And that honestly is the reason why our team broke up because, well, yeah, I mean, we were looking at Damon was having a kid. Well, Damon Damon was still on our team. Yeah. 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 But it was like, he was on loan to face, but it was like Damon, yeah, he went to phase. Do we, all, do we all that go stuff. into that? What, like Damon? We actually, we actually should tell that story because the that's like what started. Actually, remember right? when we? Uh, well, I want to talk about when we found out of when they were having the kid. Or when yeah, they, like, so it was actually out. this is actually one of my like favorite. This shit was cool. This shit was like it turned our team just from like okay, yeah, we have the same goals, right? Into like a now we're a fucking unit. Yeah, we can't we're, fail. We're, we're like a brotherhood. Yeah, we can't fail. Yeah. So it was at, it was right after we picked Damon up. Holly told Dana, Holly, don't be mad at Dana for this, right? <laughs> um, Holly told Dana that she she's pregnant, you know, Damon's a father. Was, and and Damon, knew, and Damon knew, that's why I was, I was like, oh, you know, that's why he's sitting there getting fucking hammered at the bar. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why he's throwing up in his own drink and shit. Uh, but yeah, Dana told us or told me and I was like, I was like, fuck. Well, I was like, Dana, I have to tell the team this, you know? So I remember we got, I got everyone in the hotel room and what me, me, you, Tyler, and Mr. X, Matt. Yeah. This right? was at like Philly, I think. Yeah, yeah. It was right after we won. Yeah, it was at Philly. It was literally Sunday night. We found out. And mm-hmm. pretty much like this is before Ghost Champs. And we told or I told like I told the team, right? And we all it was I remember there's like five seconds of silence of like, oh shit. Because <laughs> yeah. this was when Damon was you know, we were all young. Shirtless on Twitch, getting hammered in a fucking Mario hat with a, with a six pack. You know, all doing crazy shit. Prime Damon. This is pre- <laughs> yeah, prime Damon. You think Damon's funny now? You guys should have seen him then. And uh, it was like I just remember the silence, 
And then it was like, everyone collectively was like, fuck, we have to win now. Like we do this shit for him. We do this shit for their family. We do this shit for their well, new kid. It, it was because, bro, money back then was like. Oh, we knew. Yeah, yeah we knew that Damon yeah. were, were like, dude, you know, he won the last champs, but it was like, we knew what Damon was, was buying. <laughs> but also, uh, I, I don't mean, know if Damon ta- has talked also, about it. Also, hold on. The, the big thing is like, if you made money in COD back then, it was yeah. champs. Yeah, like it, it, everything revolved around champ. That's yeah, why. We, let's just say he blew all that money. Yeah, but that but that's why we started. That was why it became, and this was always the stigma for so long. Like, ch- if you didn't, win, if you won every event, but you didn't win yeah. champs, it meant nothing. Yeah, because the champs winners came out on top. Yeah, um, but yeah. That that was what like four or five months before. It's like three b- before champs. champs. Was in April. Remember, champs was in April, so it was like three months. No, that tournament was in December. I remember wearing shorts in the middle of the winter. No, it was in January. It was like right after New Year's. I thought it was December. No, it was like right after New Year's. Anyway, The first event was, you're thinking of Columbus, the one that was like early December. Anyways. Yeah. Um, the, the, yeah, the so, whole team knew about it, and we didn't, we didn't tell Damon. We didn't hear about it from Damon. Yeah, we yeah. didn't hear about it from Damon, right? So our whole team sort of kept. So Damon didn't know we knew. Yeah, for da- yeah exactly. Also, you guys did it without Damon? Like in the yeah, room? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Da- yeah. I thought Damon yeah. was there with me. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Damon was well, getting Which because found out. Yeah, so I was found like, out. I was like, I, I made a separate group chat. And this is where like newer gen kids on subliners and shit, for example. <laughs> on subliners. Right? They would they'd be like, dude, why are you talking behind my back? Why are you coming up with this shit behind my back? When it's like, bro, like. There's yeah, nothing malicious about it. Yeah, it was, bro, it was the exact opposite of maliciousness it was like it was like a lookout for him almost. yeah yeah i i texted everyone on the team i was like yo stop what the fuck you're doing right now like everyone meet in matt's room like this is the most important shit like and then we all kept that a secret that we knew yeah for months and da- damon lived in uh greensboro north carolina at yeah the time, and i was in sanford so we were like 45 minutes apart yeah. and like um me and him i obviously went to greensboro a few times uh for miscellaneous stuff to help him out yeah. and, but he also came to my brother's house and we played the cod champs qualifier at my brother's house because my internet was shit damon's yeah. internet was shit dude you know what's funny though you look back on the ghost images of when we won champs damon's the happiest yeah Oh he's, yeah, he's the happiest. He's, like, he was smiling all week. He was so fucking happy that we won that. And even though I, you know, fucking weirdo self wasn't even happy at all. Yeah, you didn't even smile. I mean, I'll, I'll get in, into that in a sec. But it was like we had four more events. That's but it was so yeah. cool. Like looking back at it now, right? Seeing those images, it was actually so cool to see how happy he was. Yeah, because and like. We all knew that we were doing this shit for him, you know? And at well, that point, well, well, it's more than just Damon. It's Damon and, oh, and his oh, family, pretty dude. much. And, that, and, and that's the thing, right? The other teams didn't stand a fucking chance. Yeah. <laughs> that goes chance, I could, yeah. We could have closed our eyes and won. Yeah. Because we were playing for more than just... There's an extra motivation. We were playing for more than just bullshit. Yeah. You know? And we were also just light years ahead. Yeah. But it was like... I don't know. It's it's cool to look back. At that. Well, there's just a lot, a lot knowing of that. Up. Yeah, that was the story. That was why we were so good. That was why the finals was 28 minutes. You know, <laughs> it's like the fastest. In it was history, because yeah. we were like, you know, we, we had we were we wanted to win for something more than just ourselves. And Damon's probably thinking the same thing. I got to win for the kid. I'm gonna like have. And when you guys won, did Damon knew that you guys already knew about? No, he had no idea. At, the, at that time, Damon had no fucking idea. Yeah, it was so pretty early. Yeah, yeah. Da- yeah, we our whole team sort of kept the secret of like, hey, we know you're about to have a kid. Until like, when did he tell us? It was funny when he told us because we're like, yeah, we know. You're welcome. It was after champs. I don't know when. Exactly. I, I thought it was like like two months after champs. No, it wasn't that long after because um, right after champs we went to Niagara. Like. Oh, yeah, next yeah, weekend. yeah, yeah, um, He told us at Niagara. Yeah, it was, it was either yeah. at Niagara or right after. Um, and then that's when the EG bio happened. Yeah, um, and then we were like, we know, man, we know. But but anyway, the reason our team cool. broke up is because um, Damon's, their due date was like on the, basically when an event was happening. 
And we got so much shit for that. Yeah. So we wanted to still go to the event, even with the fill-in. And we were cool with going with the fill-in. But I think the way we went about it kind of bothered Damon uh, looking back. Uh, Damon was also not happy at the time because he, he was in the same boat as me where it was like, dude, we sign EG. Where's the fucking money? Yeah, where's yeah, the yeah. money? Where's the money? Where's the money? Well, we, we yeah, we knew like, well, that was the problem. We got yeah. the like a thousand dollars. Yeah, we were all on for, edge. Yeah, we were. Well, we couldn't stream. Yeah. Right. We Because oh, everybody was yeah, on yeah, GTVs yeah, fuck, and dude, we were streaming on that. Twitch. Yep. Like we we were doing like I was we streaming were trapped. then. We were we were social media trapped. Yeah, I mean I was even streaming then. I had like 400, 500 subs. You started. You had like four. Yeah. This is when you were doing like your weird like Albanian alpaca oh, was, shit on YouTube. Um, still you were, doing it. Uh, yeah, still going. But um, but yeah, we had all started you some Japanese form of content. Seaweed muskrats. That one. That's what you did. Yeah, we all started some form of content, and that just went lockdown when the EG stuff happened because MLG TV was like the only thing that yeah. could sh- show COD. Yeah. Um. And so that obviously pissed us all off. But then we wanted to go to Nashville. What was it a Nashville event? No, it was the. I don't um, remember what it was. It was a. It was a Texas event. I forgot yeah. what it was called. Uh, it was a, like a UMG Texas event, and it was like five k each on the line, whatever it was. And we wanted to go, so we were looking for a fill in. Um, we ended up missing the event. Like we didn't actually go. Yeah. But I think us looking for it kind of hurt our team car- camaraderie a little bit, especially with all the yep. other issues that were going on. Yep. Um, that's when Damon was like, fuck it. I just don't want to, I don't want to play ghost anymore. Yeah. It was just, it was just On weird. Cause it was like, he preface it as like, and I mean, I, I can't blame him. Cause I mean, dude there was just a lot going on yeah there's a there, lot like going he was on. having a baby yeah we were having, getting we we're getting hoed out of our minds yeah, with the situation yeah we weren't making money we couldn't yeah. stream and you couldn't make any extra money with like with social media stuff and yeah stuff. no so yeah, we could not stream yeah, yeah, yeah how stressed yeah, he could, was at yeah, that time the, yeah. with the baby because the situation i think the streaming show was actually a huge factor because because we were sponsored by a twitch team yeah right we had to stream on twitch yeah but because we we're in the mlg league MLG forced all the players to stream on MLG. Yeah. It was so, like they owned all the COD rights, had to be on MLG. Yeah. And no one was budging. So yeah. for like two months, we just couldn't and, do, it, do and anything. And we were hearing rumors of what like some of the players who were streaming on MLG TV yeah, were Yeah, we're making. Yeah. 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 Which, which that's a whole other story in itself. Yeah, yeah. Like how that money, yeah. <laughs> that money was and, just a uh, black hole. But yeah. So no one was happy. Yeah. And, and so Damon wanted off the team for the time being um yeah and and then but he sort of made it out on social media like like we i think it was just like an initial reaction yeah right? we yeah were all yeah like yeah, it was just which, a lot of frustration yeah and it was just a reaction it was like the the whole thing was like we dropped him because he's missing a tournament because his wife's having a kid yeah which is fucked well, well, which we knew like, we just wanted to fill in to yeah. go and make some money yeah and then as soon as damon yeah, was yeah. good he was going to be yeah, the next exactly. turn with us and it was just like miscommunication yeah. and i think that damon was like a ticking bomb like all the stress and stuff were just holding I mean, it in dude, holding it I in mean, dude honestly like in his defense if any one of us were in his shoes we probably would have done the same thing i, I think well, I we think, were so on edge i think the thing yeah. is with the the legacy we were building as a COD team, yeah. I think any of one of us, regardless of the reason, would have took offense to us wanting to replace yeah. no, anyone for an event. That's facts. Um, but I think back to the point, like we were still money hungry, right? Like yeah. not in a bad like we we obviously still wanted to just win COD tournaments. Yeah. Like we didn't want to let anyone go to a tournament and, and win it because we weren't there. And when Pat says money hungry, right? Yeah, you gotta know what what, what, mean, what yeah. that realistically means, right? Is we just didn't want to go back to school. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If there was money on the yeah, line, yeah. we were going to win. We knew it, that, that money would be the reason why we wouldn't have to, you know, work at a job we hate for the rest of our life. Yeah. And that's... It's the same reason Nate shot streamed yeah. 12 hours a day for five yeah. years or whatever yeah. it was. Like, you just knew, like, if there was opportunity, if you didn't take it, someone else was going to. Mm-hmm. And we didn't want to leave any money on the table. Yep. Uh, anyways, uh, that was just a... a probably just handled poorly um with the, how that all went down yeah uh there was two events left in ghost we pick up dito we get shit on it one of them and then we win the next one you're welcome for winning the next one yeah it's habitat dude we, eswc dude i had like a 1.5 that event dude why do you think you had a 1.5 i was shitting on people that event I, that's blatantly not true Listen, gonna have, you're gonna have to reach in your bookmarks Hold on. Your statistical. If anyone in this comment can go back and find 2014 ESWC and look up the stats and compare what I had compared to what Krim had. That's not a that's not a question. 
So you're saying like, you you know I was frying that up, dude. I, that was my first time. Uh, t- 2014 at ESWC, I was more fascinated by the fucking human feces on the, sh- the no, fucking, we had been, on no, the streets. No, no. We of went Paris. to ESWC a year before with Clay in one. This was the second time in Paris. You're, you're saying G two, bro. G2 is 2015. ESWC, dumbass. motherfucker. There yeah. was two of them. We won the BO2 one and we won the ghost one. The ghost one I we won, won with fucking four of them. Yeah, what but these were the first two. Pussy. And we won it with we won it with Clay, obviously, when we were in BO2. And we won it with Dito when we picked him up. No, that was the third one. No, oh, dude, that was the second one. 2013, 2014. Oh, I'm thinking Gfinity. I'm yeah, dumb. you're faded. I'm th- I, I, you're thinking I, of when you clutched the S and D. Yeah, at yeah. G2. I, no, no. So, no, no. But what I'm talking about, right, is when when we beat Envy. Remember when Envy was the best team? So about like formal on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're welcome. We didn't beat Envy at ESWC. I beat them. Yeah, we, we, didn't, oh, we didn't beat them. I beat them. Oh, you're talking about that? Yeah, I'm yeah, talking. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So like, well, yeah. So, so here's a t- here's a pointer, guys. Right. So, okay, hold on, so, hold on, so hold on, if you're the best let's, player let's on specify, your, on your, specify. ESWC was a week before like the new game came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's the last tournament of the year, right? In Paris. And we're sitting there like, I'm sitting there on the flight. Fuck. We're playing with Dito. <laughs> it's like, I kind of miss Damon right now. Damon, come he back. Wasn't terrible. He wasn't terrible, but like, help he me, help me, team. help me on one yeah. shot. Help he, me. He didn't fit our team. Yeah, he did not fit our team. Yeah. He wasn't terrible, though. But he wasn't great either. He was probably the one of the best players on SB. But I was sitting there like, yo, we're fucked. Like, we're coming here hoping, like, we might we might get first if a miracle happens. So I yeah, was thinking, it was basically us first envy. Yeah, so I was sitting there thinking, let me create that miracle really quick. <laughs> okay? So I was kind of scheming. Right. Because, I like, I, m- me, Damon, pretty much everyone on the team, we were still getting hoed, still couldn't stream. Money was not coming in. That that was when you were not fucking trying. I mean, our situation was fucked. Yeah. We picked up Dito. Yeah. yeah, but I was, yeah. I was thinking, yeah, exactly. And I was exactly. playing in North Carolina. My internet, yeah, for your those internet, who don't know, yeah. my internet was Yeah, terrible. your internet was actually if huge I, If I ran around the map, like, you would watch me skip around the map. Oh, online. yeah. Like, yeah. it was actually yeah. bad. And, and I pretty much wanted out at the same time. Like, I was thinking, this is going to be my last tournament with these guys, right? So it wasn't really like I meant to do this, but I pretty much caused a fucking nuclear bomb to blow up in that MV camp at the event, Saturday night, right before we played them. Like I was like talking to formal. You basically split nameless and cap yeah, and Merc and yep. formal. Okay. Yeah, because it was going to be... You like pit them against each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, it was yeah, one right, of them two were getting a career. Mid-tournament right before the championship Sunday, right? Uh-huh. Because I forgot what happened. And it was funny, right? Because this didn't mean to happen. It just so happened that like, because I was talking to formal in the lobby or outside, you know, something like that. And like Nameless saw us. And then he like confronted formal and formal just told him straight to his face. And I was like, oh my God, like how to make a situation worse 101, <laughs> dude. What the fuck? Dude? That tournament hadn't even <laughs> I started. There, I was sitting there like, I walked away. I was like, this is cool. I was like, I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'm in a good spot right now. We're probably that those guys are this fu- fucking hate each other. Yeah, they're breaking right down. Now. We're probably gonna beat them tomorrow. They didn't and I got a, a really good team lined up for next year. Yeah, I was sitting there like, win, win, win. And and I mean, to be fair, like when I told you guys like, wouldn't it? We had a talk like at some burger place. Just me and Jeep. Yeah, uh, and I and I, it was before the event. No, it wasn't before the event. Yeah, no, it was like Wednesday or some Thursday, and I straight up told you guys like, "Yo, I'm probably out." At, oh, like, after this tournament, like I'm. I'm yeah, probably we were just out. talking about the EG situation. Yeah, 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 but it was at the at same event. Yeah, and well, it's because it was because our contracts were literally. Yeah, like, I was like, done, bro, this basically. is bullshit. Like, I don't know what's going on, but we're not making money. Yeah, like it makes sense. Playing, yeah, you guys were getting f- uh, fake promises. Yeah, like, yeah, and 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 the weird. And we were still the best COD team in the you, world. Yeah, right? and you know what's funny, right? Is that even if that team played well. Even if I didn't talk to Formula and the team to fucking implode, like we still we we played really good. We played really well that event. Oh, we would have won that event. Yeah, yeah. that like, was like a redemption event. Yeah, it was like the yeah, last. Like, even if I didn't, you know, fucking destroy fucking that team, up. like I still think we would have actually won that. But the cool thing is, is that I said that to you guys before the event, 
Right. Well, we all kind of knew like our situation, yeah, but we like were mature a enough. Miracle, we weren't gonna yeah. be able to work it out on EG. Yeah, so either way, we were all free agents. But it's like you know, you take that situation on any team nowadays where someone says, "Hey, I'm gonna leave after this event." Yeah, they're not fucking winning. They're not even getting close. They're getting last place. You know, and it's like we were like that group of guys was so different. Is that it was the that way we approached was, everything. Yeah, that shit was pushed aside. Whatever, let's win this one. Yeah. Yeah. There's was, money on the line, we're gonna win it. Yeah. Period. And and that's the coolest part. That's why it honestly sucks, dude, because all the other teams I've been on, I've tried to replicate what we had. It's possible. I've tried to compare the two or compare the complexity team with any other team I've been on. And it's just not the same. And it's it, it honestly that team probably ruined all of us. Yeah, I've, I've said this before. Like, like me trying to get other teammates to be how they like. Yeah, how you we could, were. Yeah, how we yeah. were has ruined some of my teams. Like, because yeah. dude, like some people just aren't built for it. And it, I mean, it is what it is. Like yeah. whether that's just our unique personalities, how they came together, just worked yeah. or not. Like, um, I just, I, yeah, no, no one else, I, to, at least that I've seen, has been able to replicate it, and I don't think anyone will. I think it was just a unique situation between it's weird our the, our dynamic. It's, it's weird, but it worked. It well, the weird part is, is that well, you two. We also you, didn't you, take you, shit personal. You two were like that, right? You well, you and T Brody like that. Oh yeah, we were together for yeah. like three years before. Did you even know that I was like that before you? Pick me up. No. Shot in the fucking dark. No. I just knew like you were a grinder and you were good. Dude, like, can you imagine nowadays with these fucking zoomers went <laughs> zoomers. on a team, right? And their own fucking teammate didn't pick them. Yeah, that would Bro, be a team. They would they would like somebody could be getting dropped. Dude. Yeah. And I was sitting there like that didn't bother me at all. They would take it super personal. You know? I would just spectate. I'd be like, all right, like I gotta prove them wrong. You know, I got I to gotta fucking earn my spot on this team. But nowadays, people bitch and cry and, and try to fucking snake you. Different times. Stab you in the back. It's, it's honestly pathetic. I, I think, too, um, something that doesn't happen nowadays is, like, we kind of played for each other's respect. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. regardless if we got in an argument and bitched oh, each yeah. other all day about something in game. Yeah. We didn't take that shit personal. We got on the next day. And still yep. wanted to show each other like we were the best at what our job. That's like, period. Yeah, and that's what it's like, dude. It's almost like a fucking like there was no doubt back then. It's that, al it's almost like we we're you know like a pro NFL team or you know professional sports team or you know fucking SEAL Team Six where it's like okay, you you're, 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 well, yeah, no, let's no, cut well, that one well, out. No 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 no, no no seriously no seriously it's, it's SEAL Team Six. No, no, bro. It's the fact that if you're on this team, right, you have to show, you have to earn it. Like you have to earn your spot. Yeah. You're not just here now. Like it's not over. Like now is when you go harder. Yeah. And it was like, we had that without even saying it, which is, I, that right there is no, I, no team I've been on had, has I actually had that. Going back. I, I think that's partly why we dropped clay for Damon. Because, um, and this this didn't have yeah, anything to do with Clay's yeah. drive. It was that machinima thing. Yep. We thought Clay didn't care as much as he did a month yeah. prior, right? And, yep. and whether he did or didn't, is is that's yeah. irrelevant. We just thought so. Yeah. And that changed our mindset. Um, yeah, you no, know, he still played well, but it was... Yeah, he was still a great player. Yeah, we won the event. Yeah, we, yeah, we won the... What, I forget what event it was. But we, we went won. to machinima to do the stream for two weeks. Yeah, and we went to Columbus was, and we won the he event. Was, so, yeah, it was machinima. And we were doing pubs. Yeah, we were yeah, all day, every day. But we all had shifts. to do it. Yeah. yeah. But the thing was, was like, this is right when Ghost dropped. Yeah. This was after we just had an amazing. So season. yeah, everyone knows like grind your fucking ass off. Like we were sitting there like figuring out the ins and outs of the game, right? And we saw that Clay was running, you know, fucking EOTech on an AK, <laughs> just trolling us or around, a six yeah. X on an AK, just trolling. And we were so like determined that we're like that was to me right that that was one of the main reasons why he got dropped okay. and, and it was literally fucking around in a pub i also that's, also think, that's how serious we I were i also think it like had we all sat down with clay and just had a talk 
I think yeah. Clay would have been like, all right, my bad. Like, yeah, no, that's facts. Like, like yeah. Clay would have went right back to being a yep. grinder. I just think where we were at the time, we were like well, Miss, excellent. Matt, Matt also, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he manipulated us. And, and we went to Columbus. We won. And then Damon fried that event. Yeah. Two birds with one and, stone. And, not, and Clay played great, right? That we all played a, great. Honestly, a tactical play. Yeah, we were like, that was a we can't let we, we, decision, we can't let this guy keep frying on another team yeah. when we have a spot that he could fill. Yeah, and we obviously had the. the I wouldn't and, even and, say it was and, an issue with that Clay. Team was it was a, just like a doubt, yeah. like a doubt, a sliver of doubt, which yeah. we knew it could be fixed. But we were like, but it we could just easier to, pick but him we up. could fix it by picking up Damon. And also make someone else worse. It probably yeah, was yeah, that easier, can, a faster fix. Yeah, 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 yeah. We could make that team shit. Yep. Yeah. We could make that MV team shit by removing yeah. Damon. And uh, and this is credit to Clay. Like, I think our team would have had just as oh, yeah. much success had yeah. we kept Clay. I mean, Clay straight up says, you know, we would have won Ghost. Yeah, yeah, we would have. No like, doubt. Like, you sitting there, like, expecting an argument. Because the and thing I'm is, just like, yeah, of course we would have won with you. What at the, the, at the you time, <laughs> me, you, T, Clay, and Damon were like yeah. the top five players yeah. <laughs> in the game, right? Yeah. So it was like, it was literally just such a like a, a lateral move. But um, oh, and then a smile hit your face when he went to Optic, huh? Who? Clay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You were like, oh, that was funny. That's a bad move, Clay. I get extra aim assist when I play that team. <laughs> Wait, that was that was when they <laughs> thought we Pat that said. was that was when they thought we had extra aim assist. <laughs> Bro, we oh, mind fucked them so hard. Um anyway, um so we make that change and then yeah, we 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 or not we make that change. Then our our the Paris thing happens and there was still an opportunity for like an hour when we were talking, when we had like our final yeah. talk after the ESWC event of like what was possible had we stuck together and we were running through opportunities like, okay, maybe we just pick up formal because um, you had been talking to formal. Yeah. And then you were and like, I don't think he wanted. Yeah. Well, it was, we didn't have an org even if we did. So we were yeah. just like spitballing ideas. Yeah. Um, and then obviously you went to the optic gaming roster. Teep and Damon went to the Optic Nation yeah. roster. Yeah. They kind of got fucked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly, because we were still in the contract with EG. Yeah, and Hex bought or Hex and Aid bought out yeah. everyone's contract. Like even my contract got bought out. Okay, I, but uh, that the last thing that uh, Alex Garfield did, which was right by us, is he, we got the money from the buyouts. Okay. Yes, that's true. It was only like thirty five hundred. Oh. I'm not sure if I that, did. That happened. Hector. You wouldn't have got it from Hector. From who? From EG. I didn't get shit. Yeah, you did. I'm pretty sure Hector paid me that. Either way, basically the the the, the, the way it went. The finances, the Excel the, the way The way it went was <laughs> uh, EG knew basically the, the situation was fucked. Yeah. And so when... Optic bought, bought all our contracts. They just forwarded the buyout to us. It's like the parting like thing. Like, sorry, it didn't work out. Thirty five hundred. It should have been it was thirty five fucking was, thousand. It, it was like maybe it was more than living a fucking crack house with with old pad Thai. Anyway, you go to Optic. Well, everyone goes to Optic except me. Yeah, technically, even though really it was oh, only that's you. when it that's when it became personal to Pat. That w- they did get a little personal. That's when yeah. it became. But, but it, wasn't <laughs> even, it wasn't even that that bad. It was more because like in reality, you were the only one that went to Optic. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like they, yeah. they literally just put teep in. Like they bought out all the contracts, so they might as well keep them because they just yeah. had the second B team and Damon and Teep went to it. Dude, that that MV team would have been so much. Better. What was their roster? That be, that it was. Dude, Damon, well, it, it was supposed to be me, Damon, Formal, and Merc. No, 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 no. Envy. Wait, not talking Optic Nation or what? Yeah, 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 the AW. When you just went to Optic, no, no, Nate, I, yeah, and and I'm saying before I went to Optic. No, no, I know, but what what did Teep and Damon get put on? It was like. Didn't Keith they have Damon? It was with Killa. It was Killa. And, oh and yeah. Mir. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it was just like a thrown together. It, roster. it was Teep was in an old Fariko. It's it's that he Haggy. replaced Haggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked like they're breaking down other teams just Plot so twist. they have basically Haggy. yeah. It was just Plot they twist. just had that. Haggy's the glue. Okay. But but yeah, I wasn't even I didn't even care about Teep and Damon going to Nation. Like that wasn't even the issue. It was yeah. just that Krim with the the actual Optic team. With gaming, yeah. And then uh, so what a, you wouldn't have had. An optic gaming rivalry. I mean, we still if had I, it. it. No, but if I went to Envy, oh, if you did that, it would have just been a simmering flame, not a f- blazing inferno. I think I still, I still would have been like that. Made you mad? It I still think with been optic, personal. it made it even more personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, that's like the enemy. All these but, years, but that you're gonna go jo- join them. But it's still rumor has personal? it you cried when I went. No, I didn't care. 
I didn't do. I didn't play AW for two weeks. That's bullshit. You take a second yeah, to yeah, yeah, say that's that. That's bullshit, like, bro. That. Oh no, no. Hold, let, me, let me let me restate. <laughs> I didn't care that we our team broke up. Yeah. I didn't like it. That was it. Was kind of like building up to that point anyway. Yeah. But when you went to Optic, it was like no way. That I'm gonna let this guy get away with this. Like everyone butt up there, bro. And he went to Optic. You were just jealous I think- that I was making chicken nugget runs for Nade Shot, and you weren't. It's not true. In his M3. Listen, I think this is what it was. Getting speeding tickets. <laughs> I, I think it was like, because you went to Optic, yeah. it made me feel like uh, like like you thought I wasn't the best player in the world. And I was like... Oh, so... Let me, let me, let me remind oh, this let me guy. Show you. Let me let show me, you. Let me remind this guy. Look at him, bro. That's, that's kind of where it was personal. Because obviously, I didn't like that you went to Optic, but yeah, it was no, more so like... failed in denial one champs. Yeah, dude. Th- <laughs> man, if we didn't lose the TR, I'm st- Cap, I know you're going to watch this. I still think my team would have beat that Denial team because the only reason they Who were your good, team? Me, Slasher, Enable, Haggy. Damn. Bro, I'm telling you, though. I should have went. That would have been a better team. Than what? Dude. Uh, if you're on our team, is it like, like Haggy or Ian? No, I'm saying. Because definitely going to be me and I'm Slasher. I'm saying your teammates. That was more of a team. Well, that wasn't the original team. When I joined FaZe, it was... Yeah, but that's a, that's a pretty solid team is all I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we were good. Yeah, because that... We actually we actually were... We performed really well against Denial and Scrims. That's why yeah. I thought we would have beat them because um, all they did was run like eight stuns and they blew them up yeah. in your face. And what we did, we just sacrificed like Blast Suppressor and ran yeah. Hardwired so they couldn't stun you. Yeah. And yeah, we shit on them like when yeah. we played them. The uh, that's all, Dude, that's all they did was stun people midair. See, see the problem with our team... With Nade, right? Was that even with Damon later on in the Optic Dynasty? It was like, dude, if I was playing against me, you track Krim's name, you track Karma's name. Like Seth and Formal, they ain't touching the oddball. They're not touching the <laughs> fucking flags. They're not planting the bombs. Yeah. Like they're doing nothing to actually win a game. I was like, the only two players, even though they're the they seem like the least impactful. Krim and Karma will be the only ones to fucking win. They're to, making the right to, play. To actually beat us. Yeah. There's Seth and Formal are going to kill yeah, you. Yeah, Seth and Formal are going to put you in Damon kill Krim cam. Are making the right play. But these two are going to be the only reason why they yeah. beat us. Well, that's what, honestly, I mean, I mean, you've had it too, but that's you what did Damon, this versus us. Damon did like his whole career. That's kind of like the role he played on every yeah. team. Yeah. Well, besides our ghost team, he just killed her. Yeah. yeah, with yeah. An well, that's what we told him to do. Yeah, yeah. We told, yeah. yeah, we gave him the go ahead. But honestly, Beating you at the AW opener, and I've said this in a ton of interviews like since then, worst thing that could have happened in my career. Really? By far. Wait, no, I haven't heard this. By far, worst thing. <laughs> Wait, yeah. <laughs> this is when you went fucking rogue because well, you're like, even, beat you, uh, you know. No, you, no. But, you, you had a Nabal on your team too? No, no. When I beat you with AW opener, it was Doug, App, and Slasher. Oh, okay. Oh, that's when App went full donkey. No, you're thinking World War II. When no, App no. Went App full went full donkey, donkey that series. No, it was mostly it was like mostly me and me and Slasher. Doug shit on you guys in one S and D though, bad. No, Doug shit on Nate in a one or formal. Formal, he like oh turned on formal. God. Yeah, bad. Oh, I I always you know if we would have you know if we would have won that that map, we would have won. Yeah, it was game nine. Yeah, even though that would also it, be it, funny because we would won map count, but bro, we would have lost bro, the series. How the fuck is a Halo player going to lose a one on one versus Doug with a? Map on the line with a f- map map tournament <laughs> yeah. on the line, right? Not this is the biggest factor here, right? Doug was running up a fucking hill. Formal had like fifty feet. Oh, high, Doug was high like advantage. Doug, that was like a one out of like a hundred gunfight, bro. Yeah, but the, here's the biggest thing, right? A Halo player had a fucking significant height advantage and lost a one on one. It's like losing a gunfight. Doug did snap. On midship, heretic, whatever the fuck you want to call it in Halo. P3. Yeah. It's like losing gunfight from P3 to P1. Yeah. You don't, that doesn't happen. Doug did snap though. I was watching that. I don't give a fuck, bro. Listen, bottom line. He should have won that. Bottom line. Worst thing that could happen in my career because it got to a point where it's like, I mean, I, I had stitches in my hand that event as well. Like I had, I hadn't yeah. even slept. Like it was like that, that Sunday night um, or Sunday Yeah, Doug told morning. me you. you Ripped your shit, jerking him off. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. It happens. How would I? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, wait, yeah, so wait, 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 no, wait, wait, don't wait, stop pause. The wait, pause. Keep going, keep going. Pause, pause. It happens. Okay. When? <laughs> um. The fuck. So yeah, I. Uh, 
So I, I, be, I beat your optic team, that newly formed optic team, yeah. with stitch in my hand. Worst thing that could happen in my car career because at that point it was like, like nothing could top that. Like that was like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, you were happy. happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I beat optic. Cool. Yeah. I beat you after you left my team to go play with someone else. Yeah. And um, that's when you our EG really, team broke so up. So let me guess. And I had stitches in my hand. This is when you really, you thought you were a god amongst men. Oh, and and I, I became the winningest Call of Duty player at that event because I won 19 oh, events. Oh, so that, okay. So Bro, that, it was like a perfect storm. Like yeah. I literally like eclipsed every milestone yeah. I could have like to prove my point, um, which was obviously- And that was when you're the most hated too because it was- In a sense, yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, Pat gets off to that shit. Yeah, yeah, like he was at his peak. Like after that, it's oh. nothing. No, 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 no. I beat him three months later. Well, dude, oh. dude, dude, that's okay. So, how did y'all fan base? If you're a fan base, COD community, right? There's one thing you, you all need to know about Pat. When you send him hate mail, when you send him tweets, when you try to yeah, get I think up, that I think that does something. Bro. It's when like, you try to get him yourself. removed, banned, whatever, right? That doesn't get to Pat at all. If the only way it gets to him, right, is that Pat gets horny off that shit. Okay, so you Horny's all probably are, not the right word. You all no, he gets aroused. I think it's by more it. like adrenaline. He gets an erection. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are actually doing him a favor. You guys are you know pleasuring him with your sh with your words. Don't do it. Stop. Stop. Pat likes it. See, he's look at him, bro. Z dude, hit the, the fucking zoom in right now, man. The, cho the choice of words are look definitely at him. He's off. He's so smug. No, the choice of words are definitely they were off. spot on. But I get your point. Um, yeah, no, I definitely did. Like, and I think that was something that crowd wise, I love too. Like when they were like booing or you know shit like yeah. that. Like, wait, 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 wait. Off that. that that just reminded me of something. Last thing we got to talk about because we're out of time. We've been out of time. I think I think the, the, the other COD matches have Hopefully right we didn't now. get fucking yeah, forfeited. Yeah, yeah, You know, because we're... Well, what are we at right now? Three hours? No, 132. No what? Wait. 132. It's 611. Dude, I feel like we just recapped 10 we, years. We started at like 330. Okay, final, no. final thing, right? You know what? You've probably experienced this shit your whole career. Which is what? Okay, so when... Have you... So, okay, no. Anaheim might be the only time... When you've won a tournament and got cheered, like people only were in happy. my career, only that was the only okay. In my career. Let me ask you this, right? Because I have a certain, you know, feeling on this. But when you win and people don't cheer and it's just silent, or people get up and leave, what do you think about that? I'm laughing. <laughs> like, it doesn't bother me at all. I like I I, well, I know I, oh, well I should say it's do you I guess enjoy it? it? I, beat. I wouldn't you, say I enjoy it, but I but I do get like a satisfaction from like the fact that you hear nothing. Yeah. Okay. Like like because at that point like you know no one I, can say a thing. I think that shit's sacred, bro. Like, like well, do you remember it's Anaheim almost like a majestic Ghost? feeling? Do you remember yes. Anaheim Ghost? Yeah. We beat Optic. It was on that like that domination yep. comeback on Octane. Yep. And by the time we got to the, like the front of the stage to present the awards, the bleachers were empty. Yeah. And, and don't get me wrong, this crowd was fucking full. Yeah, like it like was biggest one of the biggest one of the biggest COD crowds. No, it was probably the biggest before. At its time, it was one of the biggest Dude, for sure. It was like a thousand. Plus Bro, they people. had all the seats, and then they had bleachers in the back and, and on the sides. Yeah, and the sides. Yeah, and um. And and like everyone thinks Optics winning this map. Like they they won the first side by a fuck ton. We come back on the Dom, clutch up, and by the time we go to the trophy presentation in the front, the crowd is gone. Yeah. Like you could the bro. They if, turned the lights on mid trophy. Yep. Oh, if, yeah. for real? Bro, yeah. like they knew. Like if you would have scanned the, the stream. The, if everything. you would have scanned the entire convention center of Anaheim. Ghost. It was like complexity, some girlfriends. Dude, yeah, yeah. That we see, we, we, see, we see like our close family and friends <laughs> yeah. and empty chairs. But the crowd was gone. And the people taking down the chairs like that. Bro, yeah. They were, it was literally just Dude. the MLG employees and that's close it. friends. That's Dude, it. Everyone was gone. Damn. And this crowd was fucking massive. When, when we won on complexity, one of my favorite memories is when we won, it was silent. And it. Yeah. Yeah. I know and, and it's, and it just like. It says so many different things to you. It says like, you know, now they can't say shit to us, right? And the, but one of the coolest things is that like, we just proved everybody wrong. 
You know, we overcame all the odds and did what we said. We all were gonna these do. people wanted us to fucking lose, and yet we still won. Right? It's that's why I say like when you win to silence, it is almost like it. It's a better feeling than winning and hearing everyone cheer. And I realize yeah. that's fucked up, right? Because that basically saying root against us, you know, root against me, whatever, right? But it's such like a. It it's almost a, gives you like that next level it's also, confidence. It's also easier to win when everyone's rooting for you. That's a fact. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's true. a fact. Yeah. yeah no, when that's true. Everyone is rooting for you yeah. to win. It is yeah. easier to win. That's true. But, and it's like when you hear nothing, you just know that like, you, you know how I've always like ran my teams. It's like my, our team versus everybody. Yeah. Like fuck. I was every, the same way. Yeah. That, fuck that, that everybody. Honestly, that also killed my career. <laughs> I don't even care about being friends with anyone else. Right. It's you, well, like we're a brotherhood here. Like we beat everybody. Like anyone who lines up against us on the other side of the stage, we fucking send them home. Yeah. You know? And then seeing all the, the crowd leave like that, I was like, guys, we just sent all them home. Sad. People are going, going to fucking cry today because we won. You know? Like, they're going to be complaining about this. Yeah. For yeah. A while. They're going to yeah. be complaining about how fucking ugly we are. And, you know, they're <laughs> going to be so mad at the fact that we like did what they so didn't want us on, to do. Speaking of that, I have yeah. to ask you this. Yeah. How did you let BO3 champs happen? Dude, honestly. Cause like I get, I get that we, like beating you at AW, like that was like, that well, was okay. well, I'll tell you what happened, right? But the BO3. No, one? we up, dude, we uploaded full blown wads on our YouTubes. That's not really what got you beat. Cause you guys were still a better okay, respawn team than us. Cap. We won CTF and two S and D's. Bro, ask our pool play people. So, so it all started when we played four the four matches in pool play. You lost every, Cole every as well. single fucking team banned shit like Afterburner. Well, we well, one, one, one my team, team did that the whole time. One team banned all the ARs. Another team banned all the subs. Wait, hold on. But like, I'm not even kidding. That should happen. But y'all were the ones who started that in a band and protect against us. Y'all banned the VMP. Remember, game no, one was a Vesper no, fight. No, no, no. Wait, if, if if we did that versus you guys, was that at champs? Yeah, it was. It was literally yeah, for so, top four. Yeah. So here's the thing: we played the whole entire tournament without the VMP. I'm not, I'm not. No, I'm not even kidding. Listen, go, listen. go back and hit the vibes. I'm telling you this right now, bro. If 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 y'all left the VMP in, you probably win that series because bro. you banned the VMP game one. We got I know, but dumb hype. I know, but because Pat, we thought y'all were scared of us. No, Pat, the thing, and we were like, no way, these guys are scared see, of us. We're already lesson, in their another head. Another lesson bro. To we are already here, in their right? head. Because I'm telling Pat that that was not the case, right? It was just you know we played eight matches already without the VMP. Why would we keep the VMP in? We haven't used it. We're not used to it. You know, let's keep let's keep playing what we're used to, right? And that it didn't matter because Pat thought, you know, that gave Pat confidence, delusional confidence. Their I was team, gassing my team. Their team was dog shit. Their we weren't team even that was, bad. Lace, uh, Lace was probably like a you, top five yeah, SMG. Lace was good. Three. Okay, your team was average at best. Yeah, yeah we were just a we were guys, solid team. You guys placed higher than your what you guys actually were, you know? Yeah, we got fifth through sixth. I think we were a yeah. four eight. But either way, right? Four through eight. That wasn't the case. You guys got delusionally confident. You made the win happen. Yeah, we saw a VMP in an M8 band game one. And yeah. we're like, bro, dude, this team dude, should Pat, be thinking I'm, they have so much Pat, more talent than I'm, us. I'm telling you, bro. They saw a crack in the armor, bro. bro yeah, we were bro, like, bro, these it guys wasn't are scared. A, it wasn't yeah. a crack, though. It was just every single team. For you, it wasn't, but for them, it was. Yeah, like, no. Oh, even yeah. even, oh, even if y'all weren't used to it, you still should have squared up. Because we would have squared up with you. We were going in that series. The only thing we were going to ban was Afterburner. Uh, either way. We, and dude, Flashes, we, dude, I think. Imagine playing eight matches and not a single team squares up with you. You're gonna. I mean, we uh, most of our matches were pretty. Aside no, from like the Australian team. No, I know, team. but that that was the problem with uploading all our vod. People knew how good we were in the ban and protect. They banned every single useful thing. Like one team, actually banned every single sub. The, we, the we, crowd, we, the crowd, the crowd also fucked you guys. They were calling Lace the N word from oh, game dude, one, dude. And not only dude. did that fuel Lace up, but bro, that fueled us. Oh, you know, you know, that we were not you know, losing that you, series. You know, that's the reason why I dipped out on the uh, the fan signing. Yeah, the next there is that was Saturday. 
That, that, hold on. I'm actually going to call that out. That's the one thing. I, I don't know how that slipped under the fucking radar. Yeah. That's the one like, thing that I've... That's like, aside from just the rivalry between the and Optic. there should have been videos. Bro, Opt, Optic like, has done a, a, a... And maybe it's different now. I don't know. They did a terrible job calling out their fan base when they did the wrong shit. Oh, dude. They did a terrible job. Like, bro... To call and, and Lace in this point of time they was probably like an up and coming rookie. Yeah, bro. And I were, heard it from there. Bro, there, it was everywhere. It was everywhere. There, like multiple like not, angles. And, and, yo, multiple hard R, people. Like not just yeah. N-word. Like racial slurs full out. And like Lace's yep. family was in the crowd, bro. Yep. And it's like like I understand, like it's not anyone on optics responsibility in a sense, but like, dude, you gotta do right by like situations like that. That deserved at minimum. Action. A fucking and, and the something. Security didn't kick him out. Like yeah. MLG didn't step in. Active, it was like nothing. It was like it fell yeah. on deaf ears. Yep. And and yeah, bro. Like that was that honestly, and that was started at game one. There was no way we were losing that series. Yeah. That like, that that's made, why, bro, that made me that vial, sick we were to my so hype. That made me sick to my son. I mean, dude, I I took a fine. I think, or no, I don't think it was a fine, but it was like like for missing out on what Hector you had to was do, like yeah. super pissed. Like we have to do this fan signing. And I don't, I don't think I did. That was like the big Cod XP venue. Yeah, that was, yeah, in fucking Compton. <laughs> yeah, the form. <laughs> yeah. Like, but either way, that made me sick to my stomach to no, the yeah, point definitely. where, it, it like, I looked at the fan base differently after that because I'm like, bro, like, we just fucking lost. And the only thing you, rather than, like, you know, help us out, yeah. right? You'd rather fucking scream at our opponent. Yeah. The most fucking racial fucked up thing you can say. And, and it, I was like, dude, like what kind of disgusting human being we, is that? We beat you guys and we didn't even celebrate toward you. We, we, if you, if you oh, ever you saw that are, picture, you, no, I we watched all it. You guys turned, were all shitting on the crowd. Yeah. We all turned and was just going at the crowd. Yep. Like that, it, that, that was a huge moment to me on optic. Cause I was like, just like realizing, yeah. Cause I'm like, bro, like I don't want your mom's fucking credit card anymore. Yeah. Like keep your fucking money. It's, it's like, it's not right. Yeah. It, I'm like, dude, like, and, and there's, it's not to say there's not a ton of good apples. Right. But yeah. like, cause the optic fan base is oh, honestly like, yeah, yeah there's some of the most supportive people. I mean, but yeah. there is the, the toxicity there. Yeah. And like, yeah, it, it, I've it, always hated how it's never gotten called out. It's the fact that they, it just lets it slide that, Hey, 20% of us is, the shit humans, whole, whole shit humans yeah. right 80 percent of us are good that's just the way it is it's yeah. like no fuck that like change it yeah. you know that's that's the one thing like i don't like the the reddit or the twitch chat i can get past all that right like yeah. everyone online is like yeah you you take whatever their opinion is with like 99 yeah. percent like yeah like you people behind a computer are gonna say whatever but like when it's in person bro like you gotta step up it was just dude it wouldn't have been that bad if it was one person. It would have been like, oh, okay, yeah. that guy's just a fucking racist. Like, get him the fuck <laughs> yeah, out of here. but it was a right? lot. But it was like, I shit you not. How many, to me, right, I recall probably between like seven to ten people. At least. It. Well, dude. How, so how many people did, did you guys, how many do you think? maybe 20 max it was a lot bro because yeah. you gotta think there was two matches going on at that time it was our match and the main stage match yeah we were and, far away yeah but everyone left the main stage match. yeah they literally so like the way the venue was set up like we were in the like if you're looking at like a basketball court like we were on they the were court, still basically. at least 100 feet away yeah but it was like they went upwards yeah so they were screaming down yeah and like the 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 way the fans were they went around us like yeah. up in the bleachers and we around. couldn't really see the fans either so yeah. like i feel so bad for for lace because it was like well it was, just, it was just like he just sees a wall of darkness and shadows yeah and just screaming and just you. yeah just and the screaming. banners were hanging so yeah. you can't even see up and it was just like bro like that's so fucked yeah no, it was, it was, it was bad. like it was just one of those things where it's like no of course not i'm gonna not do a fucking fan signing yeah. i'm sorry to the 80 percent of good, good optic yeah. fans but like this is unacceptable yeah it made me i was disgraced to wear the optic jersey and i and i thought i played shit that event you know and it was yeah. just like a horrible moment and then a month later it's not addressed yep it was just put on reddit or whatever maybe talked about on twitter but like 
no formal think, fucking call out. It's also been a problem. Like even outside of the that situation with toxic fans, a lot of shit doesn't get addressed in COD that should. We were we were talking about it the other day. We're not gonna go yeah. into it here, but like, dude, there's a lot of examples you oh, can yeah. think of where like it should be investigated or looked yeah. into and it's yeah. and it's just not. And yeah. so that's that's a really a, just a really poor thing on Call of Duty in general. Yeah. Anyways, I gotta piss, then we'll do the outro. Yep. Thank you all for watching. We probably could have continued this for hours with all the side stories that we have. A lot of history. Yeah. Sorry for getting sidetracked. Uh, you know, the fucking EG story took about 40 minutes to get to the point. Um, but, hey, we took you guys on a journey today. I want all you guys to show some respect to this man, okay? Because I'm a student of his. <laughs> I might be your only student. No, I've got a couple. Teep was a student once in, once a time. And now look at him. Bro, Teep's name was Tyrific when I picked him up. Tyrific? Tyrific. Pat, but okay. But back to back to Bro, the topic. We're on. homeless compared to him right now. Hold, yeah, yeah. But listen. He's Brad Pitt hold and on, we're hold on, hold on. we're in a fucking I don't Hollywood think I told you this basement dude. doing fucking skits. Yeah. It's not exactly he's super. True. He's a superstar. But he's a superstar. We're unemployed. <laughs> I'm not unemployed. I, you are unemployed. I work at Ubisoft. Um, dude, go easy on me. What the fuck's wrong with you, man? But, dude, when I met Teep, PS3, yeah. Yeah. Bluetooth mic on the ear, his name was Tyrific. I thought his name... I, dude, Tyrific. I, bro, if you would have heard his voice in comparison to everyone else in the lobby on that Bluetooth headset, he sounded like a grown man. <laughs> like, bro. Named a, Tyrific. Bro, I thought he was Tyrone when I first met him. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, um, wait, wait. he's playing. He's playing with like some he like amateur players. Voice. Bro, he's playing with like some amateur Not a players. Bluetooth mic, dude, your voice sounds deeper on those. Bro, yeah. absurd. Bro, and he with the name has a deep Tyrific. I, I think it's Tyrone. Too. Bro, we were all like sixteen, and straight then you off just the hear fucking the, block, you hear dude. fucking Tyrific straight off talking. the yard, bro, straight from the fucking county prison, Tyrific, bro. dude. And he what was playing. Fuck? It, bro, it's hilarious. But Tyrific, that's like I'd be confused. Yeah, it's confusing. I'd be like, why is this grown man? You know, tell me to push top red, right? But he also, he, why does he have yard. the gamer tag of a fucking eight year old, dude? He, he was also a main AR. Dude. On his team. So he was just sitting, uh, you're, you're, burning, sitting, you're burning, you're burning Teeps Bridge right now. He was bro. sitting white wall heady, terrific, talking like he's a 30 year old grown man. Hey, good shit on. <laughs> hey. It was interesting. Headaches, you are not good. I don't remember my gamer tag. No, I was. Just, I think it was Ake Slayer. Dude, then. when Tyler talks trash, that shit's fucking Disney friendly. <laughs> it's bro, PG. Yeah, now it's, it is, especially. Bro, it's, Even it's almost like, hey, dude, you, final note, when he talks shit, dude, it's like, you can tell in his head, he's thinking, he's he's not saying what he's thinking. Or he's, yeah. In yeah, his yeah, head, yeah. he's thinking, get fucking shit on your fucking dog shit. <laughs> like, what did he say? You, your parents have failed you because you can't shoot straight in Call of Duty, right? But out loud, he says, oh, that was not a good play. Or, hey, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for thanks for joining the TIE Fighters. Is that what he calls them? Yeah. Does he still call them that? I think so. Dude, I got to come about up it. with think a better it. name. Terrific. Tie fighters, he, he he never left his roots, bro. I gotta come up with a better sub name. Yeah, what do you have? Tie right now? fighters. What what's yours? What's the name? I don't even know. People don't sub. Yeah, the yeah. crim shits. Yeah, that's horrible. You gotta change that. Yeah, I mean it's better than crim jobs. I wouldn't do that <laughs> one either, bro, bro, bro. You know what's funny, right? I used to call because you know I was known as the bot. Yeah. Right. So I used to call my subs the bots. That's and and then Fortnite coined it as like dog shit. Like if you're a bot equals dog terrible, shit. Yeah. yeah, you're bad. What, like the porter houses. Mm. Do know. people still call you porter? I know I do time time to time. Porter, everyone did. Like, oh, still. People eventually like stop calling me Ian. <laughs> like no one calls. Yeah. I'm sitting there like, like I just got fucking bitch slapped. <laughs> like what'd you say? I, I mean, dude, I don't think I've been called aches by like a player in forever. Does anyone else call you master? No. But That's master and the commander. But definitely no one calls me aches anymore. It's like strictly Pat or Patty P. Yeah, it's weird. Aches is weird. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's like a. That's weird. why you're going with Slayer. Well, that's just because of the flank. That's really where that started. It was to get your street cred up. Yeah. Did, it, did it start GTA or the flank? 
Well, it started with Donnie because I had the gamer tag back in the day, just Ake Slayer, yeah. because I was like the main Slayer yeah. on the team, Slayer or whatever, when, it, when that role was a thing. In MW2, I was. Um, and then. Uh, in MW2, okay. Yeah. And then. Uh, You're lucky my Donnie, cord was gone. Donnie was like. Donnie, Donnie watched competitive COD way back in the day. Did you, know, did you know Donnie was our sub in Ghost in the league? You didn't know that, did you? Tempin, that was our sub. Before we had Facinta. Oh, you are done talking <laughs> shit to me, motherfucker. We picked Donnie up as a sub. He was our sub? Yeah. In go- the moving the ghostly you so had we, a sub. So Timpin. He was like a fifteen year old kid. We had that we had him <laughs> <laughs> He was our sub. Well, he was using that gamer tech this week. Yeah. Yeah, we're playing as Tempin. That was his that was gamer tech. Oh, he was our sub? Yeah. But he didn't play, but he was our sub. Because you had to draft no him. No wonder why he went so hard on 1v1s and Black Ops 3 versus me, bro. He literally whooped my ass fucking night after night after night. You and I would that. get so mad. You and he would that. find so much joy in it. That sick fuck. He was our sub the whole time. He was trying to prove a point. That's disgusting. But he knew my guarantee was Ace Slayer. And so gotcha. he always called me Slayer. Slayer. And every time you come in a call, that's all he would say. And it just... Yeah. It's stuck. Yeah, it's stuck. Yeah. Make it rain, make it rain. Wrap it up, Porter. Except we're unemployed now. Make it rain with nothing. Stop saying we. Anyways. Stop saying we. Guys, that was the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, that was pretty, probably, hopefully pretty interesting, eye-opening. I think a lot of things we talked on, the yeah. the COD fans now don't know about. Most of the yeah. fans that were around then are pretty yeah. much gone. And there's a few historians, I would say, in the COD community still. But, like, yeah, yeah this would be new information to a lot of people. Closer historian. I'm talking more of the, like, there's some... Oh, yeah. He is more of an artist, Picasso. Remember the fucking ponytail? Yeah, I remember the ponytail. Thank God he cut that off. And we, that was like, that was a requirement. <laughs> Join our team and cut off the ponytail. And, and sell your fucking guitar collection too, you loser. <laughs> <laughs> like he was a hippie. When we up. Bro, that would look crazy. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, anyways, we're sitting here Sunday. About to go play finals. Six grand finals, yeah. Um. And yeah, about to go, you know, do our usual Black Ops 2, you know, master and student, putting on our fucking capes, grabbing our size, taking some souls. All right. That's how we do things. Juan, you wouldn't know shit about that. You're a man of uh, many words, but a lot of peace. He's always telling me not to burn bridges. And that's the name of this fucking podcast. It's an absolute shit show. This room was depressing. No AC. If we lose, I get the ad revenue on this video. Pat farted in the middle of this episode. Just a lie, blatant lie. You do that from time to time. Just no, I shit my pants. L- lie or fart? Both. Yeah. A what? Yeah. Just rough it up, bro. Yeah, Porter, you've been <laughs> distracted right. this whole episode. We're done, though. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, uh, don't subscribe. Just fucking keep watching the videos. Don't really care. I would probably say subscribe. Yeah. No, it's re- it's reverse psychology. Usually works. Okay. When I say don't, no, when I say use your mom's credit card, usually they just use their own. It works. It so actually they, works. So they every, every time I every time I say don't subscribe, you shitter. When when they roast me, people will roast the fuck out of me, and I'll be like, hey, fuck you. Fuck Algeria. You know, are use you your not, mom's not, credit card to subscribe. Are you not pussy. signing off? And usually like they'll a, do it. Out, uh, it's a, weird. A na- an adjective and then an animal? Nah, that's only for YouTube. This, this is on YouTube? All right, wait. I didn't give an intro. For no, you one. didn't. No. Okay, let's do an outro. We just did you, the outro. Yeah, you just No, no, I mean with, with the animal. Okay, go for it. All right, give me. Watch this. Give me a country. Random. Poland. Poland? So Polish. Juan? Give me a second, give me a second. Actually, I changed my answer. Okay, well, what were you asking? Hold on. Slovakia. Is that Poland? Slovakian? Give me an animal that you could take in a fight, a one-on-one fight to the death. A sea turtle. Okay. And now give me something. I don't think you're beating a sea turtle. Why not? No, that's a pretty good one. They're now, pretty big. Now uh, give, me, vicious. give me a place where a sea turtle doesn't belong. Actually, I got that one. Okay. Yeah, do something, bro. Come on. What is going on? No, no, no. It's the outro. It's goodbye. It's goodbye. So goodbye, you goddamn Himalayan Slovakian, Slovakian sea turtles. See? Easy. Yeah. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. How would they be from Himalaya?
That's the thing. Okay. Just making sure. You got to throw in a, you know. A curve. Shit that don't happen. It doesn't exist. 